Oh, I forgot to get my falcon monocle fixed. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. I meant Rest to get that piece. fixed. <laughs> yeah, it's I'll... fine. We'll get the, you know, the, the damaged things repaired at some point. So, I just want to share one more thing before we start. Apologies, apologies. But no, fucking, no, uh, I, I follow I follow a D&D artist on uh, Twitter, and he usually does, like, posters yeah. like this. You know, like, small character things. Oh, he did yeah i've seen him oh, i don't follow him cute. but i've seen him recently he found like a folder of like ms paint pokemon he used to make all the time in like middle school just oh looking gosh. back on it like oh christ oh my god <laughs> and then wow fuck, i'm i'm back in high school fucking naturally <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i love the updated one yeah, like, like, it's so it. Like, fucking good on you. <laughs> That's oh, I so love amazing. it. <laughs> Great. I love that. <laughs> Electric rat demon. That's glorious. I just, I, I just love that he fucking did that. Oh, I love it. That's amazing. He looks like a rabbit. Yeah. Yeah, he does. I love rabbits. Like the best before and after. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I find it so funny that I like rabbits, but generally I hate crude humor, but I just look at rabbits like, no, peak mm. comedy. <laughs> <laughs> because they're not even crude, they're just slapstick. Yeah. Well, they fart too. Okay, sure, but that's not the only, like, normally when it's fart humor, that's like all they do is just, look guys, farts. Uh huh. The rabbits are know. like, no, we're idiots. Fun being. No, there's sometimes where they'll sit there and just like, find a whoopee cushion and then spend two minutes laughing at it and i'm sitting there laughing i'm like why am i laughing at this this is retarded this is oh. full-on stupid this is next level dumb and i'm just like <laughs> i'm like they're like infecting my brain is there like a stupefy spell and then just looking at them just cast it every time <clears throat> that's what it feels like mm -hmm. yeah he <laughs> he funny little rabbit man <laughs> yes funny little dumb rabbit Right. It has a butt. I have a game to fucking start. Goodness, I'm sorry. Oh, it's ah, okay. It's cool. We've been away for a month. Ew. We had yeah, to survive really got to the last and, of sit and like the... chat and been in call and enjoy each other's company. Yeah, yeah. I I'm need like, it. You were like, mm -hmm. you know, trapped in the holidays because you have to deal with Chinese New Year, which is like the Thank bonus goodness, that's round. Over. Yep. Just fuck. There's a lot of shit going on. Oh no, there's a plague going on, so they're extending Chinese yeah, New Year. Yeah, I know, Year. right? <laughs> Are they You're the rat, baby. Yeah, they literally, um, at least in mainland China, they straight up said, like, oh yeah, we're extending Chinese New Year because the plague. Yeah. Ugh, wow. Is that still affecting you, Scott? Uh, me? I don't know. I didn't fucking work today, so. I mean, yesterday was the worst. Friggin' Friday night was the worst of it, actually. All the last-minute shoppers, like, equivalent oh. of New Year's Eve shopping. Oh, yeah. but also we had like our college tonight, so it's like ten percent off if you show your student ID, fuckos. Oh, I'm just sitting there at the gates, like no, no. It's that episode of um, South Park where it was Black Friday. For, uh, that's what it is. That's 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 you, Scott. I had the Helm's Deep soundtrack playing in my head the entire time. <laughs> mm. Don't do that. <laughs> Chotam, Chota fucking Mate. There we go. I think, yeah, there we go. Sorry, my browser broke for a moment. Oh, Hi, fine. video games. Does anyone else ever than me want to do the recap? Uh, it's been a month, so it probably wouldn't hurt for Graham because Graham doesn't rewatch the streams. I I don't mind to. Uh, I'm but if anyone to think else, what happened? If anyone else wants to tag in. Let's see. So we saved the day. We killed Horus. <laughs> yeah, let me get you your mood music. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <gasps> My emotions. Last time on Dragon Ball PP. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I have to refresh this because it broke for me. Tweak the volume a bit. There we go. Last time on Chronicles of Sailor Dern. 
Holy shit, we finally fucking killed a bad guy? Like a big <laughs> bad guy? Like, 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 holy shit though, Horace turned out to be some kind of hideous fucking snarf looking motherfucker. <laughs> And then, like, we kicked the shit out of him, but not before he thoroughly pimp-smacked every single person in our fucking party. In both parties. I'm talking, like, every NPC ally we have just knocked unfucking conscious And then me died. It was really fucking tragic, because that's like, oh, hey, like, you know, I've had five minutes to, to process the fact that this is my biological father, and now he's dead. Um... And then we had a funeral, and it was sad. Um, and then we met Red's brother, who's dope. And now we have to <laughs> find a way to shove a bunch of people on the world's tiniest airship. There you go. Uh, you... There was the free funeral, and then you went to go talk to Iltop. Oh, right, yeah. So you got, yeah. you got stuff. You owe, you owe that man a life debt. I do. I really do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll... Go, on. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, I'm gonna follow up on that ale stop transaction here in a moment. Oh, nice. I forget what I bought off of him. I just remember, like... A glide suit. Yeah, you were debating on buying a glide suit, and he said he'd come back with an estimate. That's fair. Okay. You're recording, right, Grim? Yes. It's been a month, so I have to ask. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. And then I'm I, sorry. I actually confirmed that Aelsop was a gold dragon and I had a panic attack. <laughs> oh, that's right. We found out that Sammy was a criminal. Uh, Osric lost his temper. And Red got the stick back. And then I had a traumatic moment as I found out Veronica is not... Well, she, well okay, she's not against me, but I'm technically supposed to kill her. And... Edelweiss just fucking bamfed out and told Krom to take care of it. <laughs> I'm glad just... that sticks in your mind. And then Edelweiss and Ariel had a very long conversation and um, Edelweiss had a crisis because it's going on in the Underdark. Yeah. Uh, Samuel was a criminal and Harlock... Dude, wants... we saw Harlock's it's... face. Yeah, well that was a little <laughs> while ago. Then oh, there was the funeral... Then there was the funeral, and then we talked with Atlas and recruited Atlas because we want to be friends with him, and then Ew. he took Mika. I know. He then... took Mika and ran. <laughs> it was a Otherwise, gonna talk to Pickle. Um, Red talked to William, which then made her go talk to Osric, and then after the Aelsop and Osric conversation, uh, Harlock gave Alora the seal, and then Clickum left, and then Exalted Moon showed up. And then everyone started hitting on Red's brother, and I was kind of weirded out about it. <laughs> and that's where it ended. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Alright. Every time I think of us seeing Harlock without his armor, I just remember that line from Dragon Age Inquisition that Cole has about... Ah, uh, what's his face? The Templar boy. Just saying, the armor comes off. <laughs> and just being so... Colin. God damn it. He's talking about Colin. Oh. Oh, yeah! Because he's always wearing the armor. Sorry, Scott. Continue. No, you're good. You're good. Just fuck. <laughs> Cole is the best character. He's a good boy. He is a little spirit who assassinates people. He's very innocent. Uh, He's adorable. And then he gets a girlfriend. And it's uh, so cute. Good on him. Uh, wow, D&D. Alright. <laughs> Last time we left off Exalted Moon. Here, let me, uh, let me add a name tag for him real quick. So nobody forgets. <laughs> Cram just gonna call him Moon Moon. <laughs> Last time, very specifically, we left off of Exalted Bastard being harassed by both Edelweiss and Red. What do you mean, Osric? Red wasn't doing anything. Sorry, <laughs> Edelweiss was harassing him. Oh, you were. You were chasing him down and talking about how cool you were, and he hated it. 
Oh, okay. That sounds like something I'd do. I just don't remember doing it. <laughs> Exalt Moon starts back up conversation by looking at the both of you and just following up with, So, let me getting this straight. You have big flying ship. Well, I wouldn't call it big, but we have a flying ship, yes. <laughs> he takes her aside. You do not spring for a sand skimmer. You can't use a sand skimmer here. Why not? It's the grass. It just kind of skids into the mud and gets stuck. Skids into mud. What is mud? It's wet dirt. It does nothing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, friend. You get a sand skimmer, I'll get my airship, and we'll race back to the savannah. Uh, listen, listen. Sister, sister. Yes? I'm going to have to buy a few things in town beforehand. In fact, I think having flying ship is quite beneficial in general. That was a quick change of pace. You uh -huh. hated it two seconds ago. Uh -huh. Life is fickle. You just like the idea of being able to take your time in town. <laughs> One more time, sorry. You just like being able to take your time in town. Mm -hmm. Well, there's one question I should be asking, actually. You have an entire tournament named after champions. You don't invite me. You don't message your own brother. You know, he's right, Sharice. <laughs> I could have used the aid of such a stalwart savannah warrior as he. More like your title would be mine. <laughs> Fat chance you'd more be like a rug on the floor and I'd still be champion. He puffs up his chest at you. <laughs> to be honest, otherwise I think you'd lose. <clears throat> well, shows what you know, Charisse. Ahem. <laughs> Just kind of, you know, <laughs> looks up and points his nose up like. Uh. Hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, Exaltment starts flexing. Oh no! Oh. He's a really athletic Finn, but he, has he does like the Zeus posture with his body, but you can see like that rippling muscle just like showing despite being underneath his fur. <laughs> oh, please. Edelweiss just draws his sword, does a flourish while activating his co uh, cloak of billowing to, you know, strike a d dramatic pose. Performance roll. I'll yeah, do give it. me a performance roll. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. Don't you think I fucking won't do it? <laughs> I'll fucking do it. Oof. Uh, Oof. The downside of not being a bard anymore. <laughs> Exalted Moon just kind of just gently grabs the tip of your sword as you're flourishing it like what what is this this is this is weapon for babies <laughs> it's a piercing implement people out here have heavy armor you can't just attack them with anything you have to go for the weak spots My mother, what's <sighs> do i really have to explain the concept of armor of metal plates attached to one and then edelweiss gestures towards osric Exalted Moon just kind of like waltzes up to Osric, just very unshamefully feels up the plate armor. You hear a little, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> you see this flap right here, not different from exoskeleton of Bugman, no? You just. Huh. It makes like a little <laughs> ripping motion upwards. What is the right here? Did he just rip all six armor off? No, 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 no. He's just making the motion of doing so. No, oh, my lord. Uh, Osric's just sandbagging it the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I never thought she could do something like that. Although, not really my forte, but still impressive. I'll have to remember bring, that next time. You bring that to Freikeen hub? You know what they do with your sword? Toothpick. <laughs> Joke's on them, my toothpick lights people on fire. That's when Osric speaks up. Wait a moment, I remember you. Oh no. <laughs> you had a little... Uh-oh. 
You are so small back then, waving around your little wooden spear. <laughs> you talked about how you would be the greatest. You would be the greatest champion in all the savannah. And it was just... Okay, stop talking to Metal Man. Oh no, no, Osric, you have to tell me more about Exalted Moon and his aspirations for championhood. He was the loudest tabaxi, despite being so small. His roars were so big. Okay, enough. I will find your mouth hole. I'll find your mandibles. <laughs> Understood. Wait, what's a three cream? Fry cream? Fry cream. Fry cream. Say it with me. Fry cream. Fry cream. Fry cream. His accent is. Horrible. My face is horrible. <laughs> Fry cream. Bugman. Buy better. Bug Lane lead them. Lane lead them and stir it up so you'll be prepared to fight them with your... <laughs> he stares at your sword once more. Look at that fire in Savannah Land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll do just fine against some silly old bug people. Not worse out here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, sister, sister. Mm hmm? Ribe is kind of uh, low on supply, so Exalted Moon will be doing the purchasing. Oh? He also sticks out his hand. I get to come? No, you get to pay me. What? Why do I have to pay you? I didn't even get like the rest of did I get the rest of my money from the last round? That's a good I question. I, I don't know. So. I believe by now you would have. I don't Which remember. Do you now? Well you got the circlet. Oh I have if I have the circlet then I got it. Never mind. Yeah. Well had the circlet had. Oh yeah, it's gone now. Because you fed that into the staff. Hey. No hey. money, no items. Yep. Yep. <laughs> nice. What? Just a loan, hundred I... gold pieces. What are you buying? Food, water for the tribe. What? I think it's really going that badly. <sighs> Things have changed in the past, mom sister. Things have changed. Oh, uh, well, damn. Okay. Let uh... me say this to start. Let me just real quickly, music change. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Which has been your tale of the past month in the Savannah Lands, right? You remember a tribe of Golden Fields. Yeah. They were causing trouble when I left. Yes. For you, who is uninformed, he points over a little wise in Osric. Tribe of Golden Fields was another tribe just like one of ours. You know, each tribe has their own different philosophies, different stories, different way of living. Mutual living between our lands. We are nomadic, we travel. Now imagine, one tribe decides they want to go off course. They want to rebel against this system that's been put into place. So, first things first. Our biggest, uh... How to equate it. What is the equivalent of your uh, stupid free something? What is it, Ethelweiss? Aren't you learning about that? Oh, the triad, yes. There yes, you yes. Go. Imagine triad, but so much more important. Our way of believing in the Titan, they renounce it, first and foremost. Our nomadic lifestyle, renounce it. And what do they do? They get people to join under the banner. Tabaxi nomadic lifestyle starts to be in shambles from the get-go, from this movement. Next thing they do, erect the city, dead center, middle of Savannah lands to show, look at how big my di- <laughs> No, no, Axis. go on. He mostly just looks over at Osric the entire time, like, can I swear in front of the Tin Man? No. Uh... <laughs> Already they're making a spot in Savannah Lands. Yes, sister, you remember this much. City yeah. is still under construction, still being cleaned out by Golden Fields. 
Yes, I remember that. Well, things get worse once that city is up and running. Soon more tribes are, he uses air quotes here, falling on the banner of golden fields, right? One way or another. And to flex this muscle, because of their numbers, we've started policing the water in Savannah Lands. And water is our way of life, our way of living. They're putting it in the middle. Savannah. Not even just putting it in the middle, no. They have entire outposts dedicated to oases. That's what they mean. Since it's so small, if they put it in the middle, they can spread out so much easier. Exactly. Because okay. of this, because of why auntie sent me to get you when you spent a week not returning home? I wrote the letter! Uh, well, she also thinks it's too dangerous. But anyways... T too dangerous? No, but too dangerous or she didn't think it would solve the riddle. Oh. Or at least solve it properly. I'll have you know, Charisse is the best riddle solver I've known in forever. <laughs> I mean, I've only known, like, three, and one of them might have been a dwarf of lesser intellect, but still. So, so what did it, 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 it's at the road field, isn't it? Yes, yes. See? And he doesn't have confidence in me. But that is where we're stuck right now. You see? Thought you were leaving there. Our trap has gone into hiding because of recent events. Oh. Going into hiding means we stay stagnant. Staying stagnant means we don't get to scavenge. We don't get to visit our uh, traverse spots. No dead drops, no supplies. We are stagnant. Yeah, you can't even hunt like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Nope. Uh, uh, Mother and Auntie want you back home so that we can discuss future for our tribe. Well, of course Mother wants me home. Mother all... So, bring your aid, he points over at Edelweiss. Bring your, uh... Points over at Ozark Joe, just going, So, uh, why is Tin Mami? Uh, he's training at Edelweiss. Pats you on the back, Red. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my goodness. Awkward. How well, is it awkward? This is why I need, like, small loan 100 gold pieces. Look, I'll pay you back the change. What do you mean? Oof. <laughs> He's trying to figure out how to let it down to you easily. You know how uh, you used to, uh, you know, just. Uh, oh, sh she, she, she yeah, grabs his mouth. Been shitty. <laughs> As always, <laughs> <is>, like <laughs> looking <laughs> aggressively between like the between Moon Red and and Osric, like wait. <laughs> It's fine, brother. I mm. don't need aid. Mm -hmm. Here, take 200 gold. 200. And go buy supplies. Yes, 200. <laughs> uh, Alright, then. Buy... Down, right? I, I, I'll figure it out. Buy supplies. Money, 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 money. Buy supplies! Supplies, brother! Ah, uh, yeah, sure. He's going He's to buy stupid, stupid things, isn't he? Absolutely. <sighs> I mean, he'll buy supplies, but he'll probably come back with a shiny weapon or something. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I should, uh, supervise him? Or would you rather I stick around? Your call, Charisse. Do you think he needs it? He'll try and outrun you. I know. Well. I'll just have to run faster. <laughs> He'll probably enjoy being chased. Hmm? He did when he was little. <laughs> the idea of that thing being a tiny little cat person, just a little tiny baby cat, is 
precious. I'm only, a, I'm only a little offended that you remember him, but not me. Hmm. What? He was so... <laughs> He's loud. so loud, I know. He's loud. He wants everyone to notice him. What? You better go catch up with him, then. He'll hmm. be fine. He'll be into... Well, he'll probably like seeing the sights. So, show him around a little bit. Hmm. Suppose so. Then shall we meet up again later? Yes, that sounds like good. But if you do need to talk about home, don't hesitate, okay? I imagine that news is quite uh, concerning. It doesn't really set in yet, so... Mm, give it time. Yeah, yeah, it will. Ozark casually strolls off. I mean, like, super casual. Like, he's not even trying to run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Out. <sighs> My entire culture is falling apart around me, and I'm not even there. Same. It's like you're gone for one month, and then everything's on fire when you come back. Well, the difference, at least with Edelweiss and Red, is that Edelweiss doesn't care that much. He cares. Red does. Edelweiss doesn't care that it's falling apart. He cares that, like, innocent people might be suffering. That's true. But the, the yeah, the, the cultural aspect is like, oh no, trial culture. Oh, no. Oh, what, no. What a, what a shame. Oh, God. Oh, no, they, they tore down the statue of Loth. Whatever will we do without that <laughs> cultural touchstone of her stepping over a pile of dead Sverf ne Neblin children? <laughs> but the legs went up to here, though. And that is the greatest loss. Honestly. What they also went up to here, 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 here. There was like eight of them. The ass on that sculpture was just... <laughs> hmm, 12 out of 10. Hate! Well, Charisse, for what it's worth, I'm sorry to hear that your home is, uh, going through some trouble. Oh, I just realized it's probably good that they sent Osric, because how else is Dalton Moon going to carry all this stuff? Oh, that's a good point. That is a good point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Look, I was... I was honest to goodness just ready for, like, Exalted Moon to just strong arm everything, like, getting the entire groceries in one trip. Oh yeah, that's what I was- that's what I was thinking just now. It's like, I half expect, like, Osric to come back and maybe hold, like, two- And Exalted Moon is going, No! I must prove uh, myself! Uh. <laughs> or Osric is just carrying the water because it's the heaviest thing. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. Hopefully at least my tribe will be okay. I'm sure they'll be fine. In worst case scenario, I'm sure we could do a lot to help them out once we're there. Wait. Oh my gosh. If brother's taking over, we're... my entire tribe is... <laughs> no, it can't be. No, he's gonna do crazy things. No. Find a way to just, like, get back to normal so I can take over because my brother's going to destroy everything. God. <laughs> like, that's the concern here. Like, oh god, he's gonna fuck it all up. <laughs> he's a good hunter, okay? He doesn't know anything about politics. He's just, yeah, good hunter, shitty fucking person. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say leader, but, like, that works too. <laughs> well, like, he has a lot of things that he's good at, but being a leader, no... No. He's doing his best. Yeah. Yeah. He cares. Your brother, Anakin. He loved you. Yeah. Dumb boy. Anyway. Uh, you are going to the other ship, yeah? Sounds like a plan. Oh, I wonder who's going to be there. I wonder if Atlas is done with his... Oh, how are we going to put all of the supplies in the ship? Don't worry about it, Charisse. We're gonna die. Otherwise, we're gonna die! <laughs> we're gonna die in the end! Charisse, calm down. Just Not so little bad. faith! That it thing looks terrible, Scott, and you know it. Yeah. 
Uh, Hailsop wouldn't have given me an airship if he didn't believe that it could get us there in one piece. Hailsop didn't give it to you. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Mead's voice from like beyond the veil. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Mead didn't even give him the ship. It was, um, the airship guy gave it to him. Oh, right, it was Sunthrak, right. Yeah, yeah. Sunthrak gave it to him. What That's what it? I meant to say. Not yeah, Elsa. Mead was what? super offended about it because um, Sunthrak one-upped everybody. Was it in due time? Oh, as you both are exiting. Shut the fuck up, Scott. <laughs> oh my god, Graham! Yeah. What? <laughs> as you both are exiting, yes. you see a familiar face up ahead, just like practically in your face, around the corner, mm -hmm. nearly bumping into him. In fact, well, uh, the acrobatics check red. Why well, I, I will fail, but okay. Too bad. Do <laughs> it oh, actually, I have that. Do a backflip. I'll actually do well that time. Very reactively, very quickly, just skidding, just like right before bumping into Markov or Alia. Oh, Mr. Black and White Man! In his grayscale glory, looking up at the both of you, going, Oh, huh, it's good I ran into you both. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, I was hoping to find you both. I don't know if you got my message. Probably not. No, the heck it is, but I'd like to... did we get the message? I don't recall getting a message. Hmm. <sighs> As wonderful postal services ever any sounds I should have just done it magically. I should have just done it magically. Should have just used a message spell slot. You see him like kind of just nap in his head. Breathing him deeply. Breathing him deeply as he mutters this. Well, like I said, it is fortunate that I ran into both of you finally before leaving town. You see, I'd like to follow up on the horse situation, if you would. Oh, that's right. You did the the mask thing, that went well. It was really useful. Oh well, yeah, right. That worked out in our favor really well. Yeah, Thanks for that. I appreciate the contribution to that as well as both of you being the people to, well, I would assume Horace is dead given I haven't seen or heard his presence in the past ten minutes, so... He's aggressively dead. Yes, very, very, very dead. Red is just remembering pulling out the crystal and blowing up in her face. <laughs> you see what's a twinge of a content smile on his face before it turns back into his usual neutral frown. I'm sure that's probably good for you since, you know, he was making your organization look bad. He uh, reaches into his coat pocket, pulls out a silver tin, Opens it up, uh, finds cigars inside. Kind of sandbagging you initially. Please, please, let's discuss this more in my office. Puts it in his mouth. Lights it. No, not these magical things. That is no. The smoke is going to do bad things. It has magic otherwise. You know, <laughs> after everything, I'm not even worried at this point. What's the worst it's gonna do? Kill us instantly? You watch him close his eyes. He reopens them. His pupils are gone. Oh. A grimace looks onto his face. So let's discuss business. Ah! Smoke in your face. Hey, otherwise you can have my spot. I don't want to do this anymore. Here you go. Blow smoke in your face, obstructing no. your vision, causing it to blow pillow all around you. Um, do note that as the smoke blows in your face, a different silhouette appears in the smoke where Markov once stood. Oh, what the shit is this? Clearing the smoke away, you find yourself in a, what looks to be a office slash meeting room. Four chairs are strewn about in front of you, a meeting table, and a completely new person sitting in a large armchair. Glamour! He's using gl Come in, come in. Who the f are you? I... Yeah, don't be shy. Take a seat. I'm sorry, but you don't look like 
Markov. I'd hope not. No one to look like a stiff like that. What does he look like? He's humanoid in appearance, but his face is just completely off. It's almost skeletal-like, but it also feels like that face is just a mask. You can't really oh. tell what's behind, but it, it moves in motions like a human face. So oh. he's like, is he like, um, does his face look like dried leather? Hmm. I'd say more exoskeleton than dried leather. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, interesting. He's interesting. a curious little creature, but he does look humanoid. Uh, you would note that he has another set of arms, making four arms total. Oh. As he just leans back in the chair. How big is he? <sighs> Pretty tall, but you can't quite... You can't quite tell for sure because he's sitting down, but he seems pretty like tall, pretty lanky. Yeah, and with you know forearms. He's got a he's got tall a cigar in one hand. He's fiddling around with a card in another hand. He's got paperwork in a third hand, and in a fourth hand, he's playing around with a little like. He's playing. He's fidgeting around with an object in his fourth hand. I had to try really hard not to say fidget cube. <laughs> It's a fidget spinner, just, yeah. God. Just, just say that it's it is. Just, it's, it's, just spin, it's just spinning it constantly. Hey, he, he clearly has, like, an ADHD problem and can't focus on one thing, so, you know, he yeah, just I'm uses that as a... That. He's, just, he's just got, like, a little top in his hand, just constantly spinning. <laughs> Who? And what are you, if I may oh, ask? No, no, if we want to make him, like, super cool and mysterious, you know those, um, those orbs that are just a bunch of rings inside rings that oh spin. My god. So he's just spinning those. Oh my god, Danny. What? Hey! <laughs> I've had to change this man's fidget object like three times. Whatever, he has a fidget spinner. Moving on. <laughs> Who? Uh, what are you? Name's Mach. Yeah. Just get the name tag out now. So it's just cough. Name's Mark. I'm Markov's idol. Bless you. <laughs> I do business with him. Personally, oh. if he had to call him, I'd say I'm the one running the business for him. But he's got pride on the line. Nice. Pleasure. Pleasure. Nice to meet you in person, Mr. Mark. Cigar? No, thank you. Charisse? No. When is she ever? Anyways. <gasps> You're right, but... <gasps> That's good. Don't succumb to peer pressure, kid. Anyways, I'm going to talk business. We'll make this short, make this sweet, simple, clean. All right. Now, you did my boys a favor. You got rid of that prick horse. But that I'm thankful. Hey, you're welcome. How'd he die? He died good? He died painfully. I stabbed the <laughs> ever-living shit out of him. Just how I like it. Some business is done on that front. Now, normally I would call it good and say, you know, you did me a favor. I did you a favor already by doing that golden mask shit. Markov wants to take it the next step up. So. Hey, the, go the golden mask shit just helped get rid of Horus. It just benefited you rather than mm. did us a favor. So excuse you. <laughs> yeah, and how many people you think we saved through that bullshit? You're welcome. Exactly. Live saved is a reward. Anyways, you were saying. And the vice, that's not how you bargain! <sighs> anyway, you were saying? You wanna talk or you wanna accept my gift? Cause you can head out the door right now. I'm happy to see what you have to offer us, Mr. Mark. So I got two little things for you, you know, based on this experience, and also cause you guys can't loot bodies for shit. You know, it's a good quality to have. Next thing you know, you're rummaging through guts at the fish market, trying to find that little diamond that someone smuggled in. Anyways. So. Oddly specific. Slams, I know it slams a weapon down on the table. <laughs> slides it over. This is Horace's piece. Hmm. What kind of weapon? I'm about to show that to y'all right now. Ooh. Well, then Edelweiss is suddenly just like completely gone all over that. I can't shoot a gun, otherwise I probably would take it. Can't you use simple weapons? I thought we had to get, um... Yeah, you said training. we had to get gun training. Yeah, I Did spent you not get that? On that. 
Yeah, yeah Graham only... spent money on that. Okay, yeah, me and... Spent money on that too. It was me and Wannon had I done didn't that, but know. Danielle Whoops. didn't have money. Yeah, I didn't have money. Stop being <laughs> poor, Danny. It was literally like 500 GP and I only Get had like 300. Get the training for it. God, and broaden your horizons. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, would, I wanted to, but I couldn't. I didn't have the money. Two That's barrels. Fair. Two entire barrels. Shoot one guy twice. Shoot two guys once. Shields are for cowards. Addendum. Shields are not actually for cowards. <laughs> I swear this is just, you know... What's his face? Who did Dark Souls when he made Bloodborne? This is just what it is. This is just his motto. <laughs> this is just Miyazaki. Shields yeah, are for yeah. cowards. cowards. Addendum. Shields are not actually for cowards. Yeah, that's his PR team. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. Sell it. Give it to a friend as a gift. Whatever. I don't care. It's yours. Take it off my hands. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Why don't you want it? Because I could make five more of those easily. Edelweiss just oh, you made these? cautiously nope. takes it and... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mock. Wait, do Appreciate I have... It, Fuck, I don't have detect magic. Damn it! I have to spell magic. Oh, <laughs> God damn it, I have to spell. I just want to look at the pictures. <laughs> I just want to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. I don't want to be scared of it. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. You, you hang out with this girl? It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. <laughs> usually. Oh, I see. Oh, not like that. No. Magic a little bit powers. Less spicy. No, that's fair. I just gotta keep someone watching your back. She's also got a nose for traps. And Edelweiss, like, flashes a smirk over it, Cherise. Not always for disarming them, but finding them, certainly. You know, that's a good skill to have. Better you than them, right? <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned two items, though, Mr. Mock? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. You still have one of my business cards, right? I do indeed. Flip it over. Is it? <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. I, uh... Cause, is cause it one of his handouts? Yeah, I was like, is it in handouts? Or is it, uh... Scott, I don't know where it is. Nah, uh, it's okay. Look, I'll give you another one right here. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, I know where it is. It's it's on the, it's on the home page. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Hold on, sir. I left it at home. Give me one second. I'm just like, I know that it's sitting out there on, on yeah. the... Is it under lore for you, Grim? Uh, no, I just see... Yeah, no, I just have it as like, uh, unless you one of you wrote it down specifically in inventories. Yeah, I think it's oh, in I my inventory, I, I, but... I think I have a picture of it. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. He just, he just kind of like, we'll, we'll just, we'll just say it's in Edelweiss's pocket. Yeah. Just flip it over. Do you flip it over? Oh, yes. Oh, There's there nothing on the other side. Made you look. Flip it over again. <sighs> he flips it over. It changes color. Oh, I get it. Oh, I thought it said crafting. Never mind. I got disappointed. Hmm. Never mind. It changed. Oh. You do my organization a favor. Mark up asked for this. You guys get one. Oh, a single favor. That's fair. Oh. Legendary business card. <laughs> you don't know how good that was for me to write. <laughs> Five star. Mox meal ticket. Oh my goodness. This will be really handy. As long as you don't like rip that card up and tell Markov to go shoot himself, we'll be usually compliant. That's yeah. acceptable. And I assure you, I would never use such an item to ask you to do anything against your morals. And otherwise winks. <laughs> he just kind of scoffs and just goes, oh, you need something? We'll get you that thing. You need us to take out someone? You got a, You got that. Like I said, like it says in the fine print right there, he slides over a contract towards you. Nothing purposely detrimental to us. We call it good. What kind of detrimental? 
Like, As in, don't tell us all to go jump in the ocean and drown ourselves. So, just no death. And I uh, assume I couldn't tell you to, you know, disband your organization or... Get... Fuck no. Exactly. Uh, what about uh, destroying another organization? <laughs> well, I mean, if it's someone we've already taken out, well, that's just one win for us. But, I mean... Ugh. You get one favor. So if it's to take out someone specific, you know, rile up the crowds, that's fine. Whole organization, that's a favor per person. Oh, yeah. Naturally. okay. That's fair. That's fair. Now, distraction's fine and all, sure. But of course, I would expect taking a life to be a more serious matter than distracting a group. <laughs> like I said, favor for favor, you get one. I understand, and thank you for this, Mr. Mock. And then once that's done, we're out of each other's pockets. Now, don't just assume that you have that favor doesn't mean you can't get in our way and vice versa. Of okay, course. Kids. Very good, all right. Anything else you need to bring up in this little meeting? Because my time's short. I don't think I had anything, Charisse. Did you? Uh, kind of a surprise. I didn't really have time to like prep anything, so no. Mm. That's about how I feel. It's like, right. oh, huh, this is new. Get the hell out of my office. You got a town to leave. You got a train to catch. Except you're not the group catching a train. Huh? That's an odd thing to say. Yeah, that's kind of specific. What are you talking about? <sighs> Blows the smoke in this room again, and it just fills up immediately. Like, this man exudes smoke. He coughed. <laughs> Why does Owen oh, answer my questions? I think it's because they like to be purposely cryptic. It's I don't a... think so. Markov That's... adjusts his monocle once more. <clears throat> Apologies. A bit wow. rude, I know. That's fine. Just a little bit of warning next time. That was an odd experience. Hmm. Well, Mark usually likes to take surprises in this case. Catch That's... you off your feet. He is very brash. Hmm. As expected from someone aligned with the plane of Earth. Blunt ha. to the point. Smacks that advice on the shoulder. Ow. Mm. <laughs> well, what was said was said. We'll be shaking hands and, well, metaphorically or not. And be on our ways. Ha. He could have shaken all of our hands. He had four of them. You should exactly. have shaken all your hands twice. True. Edelweiss uh, uh, extends a, a hand to uh, Markov. I thank you for your assistance in all these matters, Mr. Markov. It's been surprisingly pleasant. And to you as well. I apologize for any misconduct my organization has caused you. And I hope we can find business in the future once more. Indeed. I Until wish then. it was Laura so bad right now, because I want to ask, like, how's Nico doing? But Red doesn't know him. Kind of I just... like Nico. Reaches into his pocket, pulls out a watch. Come on. If you'll be excusing me, I have a train to catch. Not from the back. Oh, that's who's catching the train. <laughs> I get it. He said that's a group. Well, obviously he's not going alone. He'll probably be going with a bunch of other Terra Unbound people. Well, then wouldn't if he said that he was going? Well, I don't think so, because I think it's only Mark I'll have going, and I think Mark exists in, like, a different place or something. I don't know. It's weird. I'm not going to think about it too terribly much. <laughs> by, by the way, I don't want to work with him again. Oh, no. Fuck that guy. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. No, I don't like what he did to Click. Not a fan. Exactly. Very, very angry about it. 
And, naturally, Septos isn't particularly pleased with any of those organizations and their treatment of elementals, so it's not like I was ever going to be able to be buddy-buddy with them, but it doesn't hurt to take the occasional favor when it's earned. Oh yeah, we'll definitely save that. We've got to use it for something actually useful. And this is almost on cue, upon hearing his own name. Grab his token real quickly. Just right off of centers. right off of Edelweiss's hilted blade. Oh fuck! Stop being hot. Someone called for me. Oh sorry, we were discussing how much we don't like Terra Unbound, and you naturally came up, best buddy. <sighs> Should have let me know when you had the chance. <laughs> I would have made it home for him in his office. As fun as that would have been, it would have been a little rude. They did assist us in keeping the town from being annihilated. One must always repay favors. We can go back to dismantling them later. I promise I hope you'll make do on. I still have my own qualms on their little uh, outings. As do I, Septos. As do I. <clears throat> You should have seen that guy. He had like four arms, though. It was weird. Like, yeah, he was like a bug. It was weird. I yes. could do that just as easily. I just won't. Of course, Zap does. Otherwise, like, pats him on the arm. Like, of course, sweetie. I know. Red is <laughs> tapping behind you. Wait, me? Yeah, you. Oh, you. yeah, yeah. I would turn around. <laughs> It's Moff, and he has four arms to hug you with. Oh no! Why are you both like this? Why are you both like this? Red would lean down and give him a hug. I'm adapting. You don't need four <laughs> arms. What do I need? I... I don't know. You don't need four arms, though. Clearly, you need to be 12 feet tall. Understood. <laughs> his legs stretch, but his body proportion stayed the same. <laughs> I don't get tall! What are you doing? Just slowly towering over Red. What are you doing? It's the little things in life you have to treasure, Septos. Testing my limits. Freak. <laughs> Uh, Edelweiss is like be nice to Thoth. <laughs> he has Septos as he continues to chuckle. Don't make fun of his long legs. Shrinks back down uh, slowly, returning to normal proportions. Oh, goodness. He's got more leg than a drowned matriarch. Oh my oh, god. My. <laughs> uh. Were you able to get a good look at him, Thoth? Mm, curious creature, but elemental plane born, yes. Still, design unlike any I've seen. Yeah, that was really weird. Like, I've seen enough, you know, large bugs in my, you know, life, but that was very not normal. A strange mixture of organic and inorganic. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Perhaps it's a result of him being bound to this plane for an extended period of time? Perhaps so. <clears throat> I wonder. Septos, is that a thing? He looks he like he looks you dead in the eyes and like as if you haven't noticed how he's looked for the past day. Hey, you bonded with Edelweiss, it's different. <laughs> I didn't You're know. You're saying they're not a bond. Friendship true, off but... comes in the weirdest solution sometimes. Look, look, Sephus, I don't look at you that often. You're too hot now. <laughs> I am from the <laughs> elemental plane of fire. Yeah, and you have rippling so pectorals and you're burning. sweating the entire time. What do you expect me to do? Like he sweats, but it just turns into steam immediately. Exactly. <laughs> And all this time, I just wondered... He's, he's literally the definition of licking your finger and, like, touching you with it and it just going... Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't help it, man. I hate this more than you do, I assure you. 
Thanks. I hope I see you're gay, aren't you? Why aren't you having a hard time? <laughs> I mean, just look. calling out. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's weird to crush on your best buddy like that. You know, it's like, look, you know, he's hot, but it's also, you remember those awkward teen years when he was just a ball of fire and you were a bard, you know? And if I see you were a bard. Yeah. And? Were. <laughs> and were he to love me, we would feel our emotions twice as potent, which uh, I don't. No. No. All of a sudden, Edelweiss runs away. No. <laughs> I don't like feeling feelings. Besides, there is one I am acquitted to in my home plane. <gasps> Septos, you dog, you never told me that. There was no reason to. Septos, we're best buddies. We share everything. <sighs> Septos, do you have a girlfriend? Or is it the boyfriend? I wish to return home. Or is it just a friend? Elementals don't have the concept of gender in their own plane. They just fire Exactly, beings. that's the point. What what do you say? Like your spouse or partner? Is partner is partner the right word? My life mate. Ah that's like really romantic and also very dramatic at the same was time. Thinking, like, are they your kindling? Go to your room, otherwise you're grounded. We're not the laws of our situation. I would have you burned to a stake by now. <laughs> no wonder you want to go back home bad. Ooh, they're probably not going to be happy with the way you changed. It's partially that. Partially, I'm afraid what will happen if I stick around here. So... <gasps> Edelweiss, we have to like make like a point to contact the elemental plane of fire so he can go talk to his girlfriend his and let her partner. know that he's okay. You know, that's actually a good idea, Sharice. We should really get on that. I mean, she, she doesn't have to see him, but you know, at least know that he's okay and alive so she doesn't have to mourn his loss. Well, I don't know how elementals feel. Because Sloth doesn't feel anything. But Usually we the... don't. Don't try to anyways. But if you don't try to feel, how could you? Ah, uh, God. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Settle down there. Scott's getting his own bitches. No, that's him like, that, every time he moves, his jewelry moves with him. Shut up. That's, that's mercy. <laughs> every time Septos turns around. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just a bunch of shit falls on the floor, too. I'm smart. <laughs> I'm a great DM. That honestly sounded like hot. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Fuck, what was the last question for him? Um... How what? do you- how do you feel love if you don't feel fear? I say we don't try to. Ah. Okay. I get that, I guess. How would I put it to you, I suppose? It's a more honor and valor bound society, I would say. Oh, you don't want to have your pesky emotions get in the way of your honor, your valor, and your bravery, right? It is akin to that of your knights in your world, I suppose. Bobo. Oh no, and you t this is what this is what happened to you, otherwise. This is how you became how you became. You you bonded with Septos and now look at you. I mean You're becoming I... just like him. Edelweiss, like, looks Septos up and down. I can think of worse fates. Hmm. I assure you, any decision the Edelweiss would have made would have been his own heart speaking, not my meddling. But frankly, I won't have nothing to do with it. See, my best buddy respects my emotional boundaries. <laughs> it's not my job to guide you, but to push you forward. So you just kick him in the ass and he keeps going. Exactly. That being said, <laughs> get moving. Ow. You know, you feel that too. I know I do. The difference is I can take it. Ooh! Oh no, I like just... I've never had pain in my rear before. Oh no, never. Like I've never gotten a good spanking before. 
Thank you. Mom looks down at his body, conflicted. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Oh, all I, can I is, like you the way you are. All I can think is thought going, Mother, why aren't I beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> no thought, no. I like you the way you are. This unit have an ass. <laughs> <laughs> this unit doesn't need an ass, let's go! Does this booty quake like cow. No, it does not clap because it is not thick. Another woodly limitation I must breach over. Oh, uh. wandering off. Except that is influencing Thoth in a way that I. <laughs> Quote from internal Thoth I hate this world. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not I fair. Hate this family. I hate this family. All right, airship doc. Yeah. I should have taken a picture of that one time Grandma did Dunska and me and you got in an argument about how oh, in yeah. Alliance chat. And Danny yeah. was like, I hate this family. Well, Graham said, who wants hugs? And then a bunch of people said hugs. And then Graham gave hugs to everybody. And I was like, where's my hug? And then Graham said, I couldn't have one. And then I was like, I hate this family. <laughs> Oh. Yay! I love this song. Oh, where? Oh, okay, this is good. Oh, that's by the time you, by the time you reach the airship docks that you visited like maybe once in your life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like you see time. that, you see that the old timer ale sop is already like sitting at the stairs, just looking up from his uh, book that he's been reading. Closes it, looks you dead in the eyes, otherwise with his closed ass elderly eyes, and just goes, oh, "About time." You know, I ain't getting any younger. Sorry about that, Aelsop got distracted by a meeting with a weird bug person. <clears throat> so, uh, let's discuss pricing, right? You want a wingsuit? That I do. You know, I can stretch it into your uniform and everything if you want, or I can make something new, but either way, so... Here's the deal with this thing, right? <laughs> Let me get out the notebook. <laughs> So, this thing is pretty much, like, embedded with air elemental technology, right? I wouldn't say technology, I would say more enchanted. You know, that's a word I know. Anyways, you can use it not only to glide, but to fly straight up into the air, then glide, right? <laughs> Did you? You literally gave him this. But you gotta, you gotta... You gotta learn your wings before you go soaring, okay? You can't just, you know, fly willy-nilly, okay? You're gonna descend. This isn't wings. This isn't a free flying tool. You get the height advantage, yes. If you stop moving, you're gonna fall. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> right, I see, I got you salivating. So a commission like this, a commission like this, it's gonna run you about, like, say, a thousand gold pieces. Hmm. Just you, can pay it. you can pay it out up front, or you can pay me in installments. I'm sure some people would appreciate that. I'm gonna charge you more if it's installments, though. You know, interest and all that. And also, to make sure you don't dick me over, because you're gonna be flying off somewhere. But bluntly, hmm. I'm just imagining someone trying to dick over. Yes, I think I could pay you in installments. That's fine. Uh, what kind of installments are we talking? Mm, let me see here. Uh, oh, I can run you by, say. Hmm. Let me do some quick math here. Let's call it per week, yeah. And, uh, let's say, uh, let's go. Uh, I think two hundred gold pieces a week would be fair, right? Hmm, that's doable. I can. But I'm gonna charge you for. Uh... I'm gonna charge you for six installments, though. So twelve hundred gold total. That's fine. Yes, mm -hmm. I can do that. Good deal. Then two hundred up front. I'll get it commissioned. And don't worry, I'll find you. You don't find me. Get it ready in like maybe. Uh, maybe one to three days. Okay. Well, the only hard part is stitching the suit together to match your uh, measurements. The other hard part is, uh, you know, 
Oh, I wouldn't call it a hard part. It's more just enchanting the damn thing. But no, I got speedy delivery rates. Don't you worry, kid. Alrighty then, Edelweiss he says. To... Uh, he kind of motions a hand forward to, like, tell you to get closer to him. Mm, he, he, he goes closer. Kind of just gets near your shoulder. You feel him breathing. God, you smell like rubbing alcohol. <coughs> it, sorry, <laughs> it's a... <clears throat> Pulls over from my father. All right, well, this way I can track it down. Oh, right, yes, that's a good point. <clears throat> yeah. All right, now sit still, I gotta take your measurements. Get off the damn stairs. Uh, uh, right, of course. All right, it's gonna take a while. This is a perfect time for someone else to have a conversation while I do this. Red. <laughs> Nimbus, what happened to your hair? You did white hair. She kind of ah! just like, Close your side. Yeah, I forgot to reveal him, don't worry. As you top the stairs, you see the hunched over body of Dren Sunfrack kind of doing some paperwork off to the side as he finishes off, uh, you know, legal obligations on this airship. Yes, signing it over. Nimbus, upon hearing, just, just like pulls you over real quickly. Shh, shh, it's okay. It's just an ever disguise. Huh? Am I still calling you Serum Sex? Shh. No. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you like using yeah. magic to change your hair? She she has that look on her face like she didn't think her plan out 100% for early, but she's still trying to run with it. <laughs> nice. Oh, you look really pretty with brown hair though. My Thank wife is really pretty too. Color. Oh. So oh. Once, we, once we get out of town, you know, you'll see like how I truly am. See her true form, her final form. My true form. She's gonna Not skip yet. right past the weird, like, Ridley Scott's alien form and go straight to final Frieza form. Shut the fuck up. Oh my gosh. You, you <laughs> stupid, stinky anime <laughs> child. <laughs> uh, I bet you, I bet you like Slice of Life, huh? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I watch Fruits Basket. God. <laughs> Fruits Basket is just slice of life. Nothing bad ever happens in Fruits Basket. <laughs> yeah, Fruits Wallace... Basket isn't too real. <laughs> anyway, William, William Wallace. Wallace like speaks up too. He's kind of just leaning on the hull of the airship and he goes, Well, it's good to see you two, my employer, having gone for the girl first and not me. But hey, I don't judge. I, have, I haven't gotten to talk to her. And you just went straight for the secret conversation. Can't let old William Wallace listen in, huh? I was talking pretty loud, William. I don't know. Do you need a hug? No, I'm good. I'm good. Hugging's not in my contract. <laughs> what if I put it in your contract? He has a look of, uh... He has a look of... How to say... He starts to speak up, and then he's like, Hi! Um, hmm. Oh, I did not think of that. You know, I'm gonna increase my periods if you do. <laughs> how much? I call it a one and a half platinum per week. Oof. What? That's 50 that's really ex pieces. That's expensive. Hey, For just I a give, hug. I give good hugs. <laughs> oh, didn't he give me the hugs? Hold on. Now I have to know. Yeah, consult the tier list. Oh, what I got the it. tier list at? I have it. I saved it. Okay. William Wallace doesn't give hugs, but is a top tier hugger. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Fuck. He played a fuck. I hate, I hate that you just did that, and I was like, yeah. yep, that's who he is. Yeah. Five extra like... gold pieces per week if you want his hugs. <sighs> Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Are the hugs that worth it? I don't know. <laughs> Limited time offer, while my mood persists. Limited! Mm. I already gave 200 gold pieces to my brother. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the market, what do you have there? A knife. No! <laughs> I'm so glad that you told us this. Ah! Now I have to make that. I have to do that. I need to learn how to do video editing so I can just put it on the screen. I'm going to be just a little bit 
Uh, anyway, William, did you get supplies? <laughs> At least for yourself? Yep, I got everything I need. In fact, I sat in my room beforehand right in this big old boy. Tunk, tunk, tunk. You know, it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Strange little ditty. What do you mean, bigger? Uh, you know, it's got four layers. What? That's right. It looks bigger once it's in there. What, is it like God magic layers. or something? Well, we ain't cramped in there, is what you is what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's good news at least. Nimbus, are you are you you're coming along, right? She uh, nods her head yes. Hopefully, you have everything you need. She has that look on her face, like <laughs> Did thinking I about the it. Oven on? Thinking about it, eyes shoot open wide, relax again. Yes. Oh, I shoot open wide again. Off to the side. No. I'm on the bait. <laughs> do I? I do. That's too fucking relatable. But silently you see her just kind of like patting her sides, her pockets, her bags. Oh, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, should you go through your things? I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> well Funny little bunch we got, don't we? Hey, oh uh, by the way, um Yes. We're going to be having a lot of company on the ship. Well, and... I hope so. This thing ain't gonna run itself. You know what I recommend its crew size for this size thing is like ten minimum? Maybe not minimum. Not the island. Bye bye, bye. Um, I may or may not have. You five. already have a red boy. Look at me. I Look at know. me. <laughs> I know. You, Judas. <laughs> <laughs> you realize how awkward that workplace environment's gonna be, right? I know. Oh. At, least they're, at least they're being paid. He's not. Well, if he starts up something, I ain't gonna hesitate to throw him straight off the airship. That's okay. Insane. He'll probably That's find a way okay. to survive. Also, my brother's coming up. Oh, dear gods. Yes, there'll be two of me, but like he's identical? worse. Like twins? We were born at the same time, but we're not identical. Not, not like identical. We're fraternal. Ah, that's fine. Someone to bond with, I guess. Um, he's far more annoying than you. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll know if you like him. Ostrich's bringing him, so it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that's everyone? fine. That's what I signed up for, I guess. Is it everyone who's coming? Uh... Edelweiss, who's coming on the airship? Uh, Edelweiss just like, mm -hmm. I don't remember! Doing geometry, and he's just like, uh... Well, that's what I wanted to ask you, actually. Sunfrax finally speaks up. Oh, hello. Uh, d at this point, Edelweiss, your measurements are done. Uh, you know, Sop just kind of pats you on the shoulder like, all right. One to three days, I won't forget. Three days at max, but probably sooner than that. I'll be real. Your uh, initial payment. Edelweiss pulls out the gold and deposited, deposits it in his hands. All right, 200. Thank you kindly. Spend it Don't wisely. And every week I'm going to send someone to get you. Fret not, I can afford it. All right. And if you tell them off, I'm coming next. Ailsab, I would never. I ever... know, I know. I just like to remind you. Otherwise, it's like your skin. I. Like you right. provided me this armor. Like I can't escape you. You could probably track me down through it. Yeah, I could. That was a figure of speech. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're hunky dory, right? Of course. Good, good. All right. You might want to jot that down in and out somewhere. Right on that. And then 
program doesn't jot it down. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Look, it's okay if I forget. It's not okay if you forget. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll remember and I'll be that. Yeah. Teacher, sell, sell, homework sell do smirk today. out, please. <laughs> hey, teacher, don't you need to collect the homework today? <laughs> yeah, there and you go. Everyone's just like, fuck you. Teacher, Smirk's playing in Game Boy under his dance floor. Fuck yep. you. Your dance floor. This is why no one likes you, Kay. <laughs> fuck. Edelweiss just thinking to himself, well, I made a deal with a dragon. I've broken okay. the most important rule of uh, shadow running. See, so, yeah, that's 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 also fair because that kid, being being that dick ass kid, would also mis misgender smirk. So I was correct. You were wrong. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't even catch ah! that. Nice. I didn't catch anything. <laughs> I bite my tongue every fucking time that happens. Don't you worry. I, I burn it into my brain, and I'm still like, fuck, muscle memory. I am a forgiving person, you don't gotta worry. Alright. But I do Thank keep you. a list every time you fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> you do! <too. laughs> okay. Now, something brings up, brings up a paperwork with the uh, two of you, Red and William Wallace. He brings up a. Well, since you both are both. Very famous these days, thanks to gentlemen. Uh, it seems you've got a line of uh, suitors behind you, <laughs> so to say. Well, it's more like people people are always itching to, you know, come and go out of this town. You know, it's not every day in their ship docks here, so some people do like to be recruited, some people do like to you know, get their way. Maybe it's friends you made along the way, maybe it's um, you know, completely random strangers. Just be aware of crew size, okay? So I have you jotted down for us, and let's say how many people. Let's see, there is both of you, that's two. And this red fellow, that's three. Another red fellow that stopped by earlier, that's four. Uh, the elf woman, that's five. The big tin man, that's six. And I believe you said you had a brother coming along, that's seven. Yes. So do take in mind, we're already at half capacity on this airship. Um, any more than that, and you kind of risk uh, things being a little uh, too, how to say, a little bit too uh, close quarters. I mean, I, I would assume that plus, you know, the supplies to keep everyone here, you know, having enough beds, um, you know, things things will get itchy real fast in that stage. But, you know, 15, 15 is my recommended limit for something this size. You know, naturally, expand over time. This is hardly what I would call the model airship, but those things can carry up to 30 people, so hmm, not too much different, out. but the, and it's, it's, it's less about the, um, how to say, it's less about the size and more about the manpower behind it, the capabilities of it, traveling speed, but this is, this is good for a beginner. Hmm, good to know. Thank you, Subthrak. <clears throat> of course. Uh, quick question. Um... Otherwise, you do not have to fly this, right? Well, I wanted to ask you that actually. So, um, while um, when he, you know, gave me the initial payment for this airship, um, he didn't quite, you know, didn't quite set up a crew captain nor a elemental to well, power the ship. So, um, I could probably find a used one. But need paid for this ship? I thought there was a gift. Hmm. Uh, Let's lay out the truth. Why don't we? You know, uh, you know the kind of man Mead was. Never wanted anything to lead back to him. Nah. Mm. Okay. Mm. He. Otherwise, Mead spoiled you. Yes, he spoiled me. Rotten after he ran out on me and my mother. Mm. Call it paying back his dues. That's what I call it. But um, well. What was I? Mm. He, he knows you would eventually want to leave this town and seek greater heights for yourself, so he gave me a lot of his personal savings for this. I mean, this is the best I could do for him. To be honest, half the stuff is recycled, and, well, there's not really any furniture minus one. He could only cover the bedrooms. Mm. The bedrooms, the elemental engine, and, well, the ship itself. But that's all he had left. <sighs> elemental engine? Ooh, but I don't like that. Yes, any safe airship these days has an elemental engine uh, equipped on it. So, that this is what I... That doesn't gonna like 
that. That's all mine. This is why I bring up the fact of needing an elemental. Now, frankly, you could just slot a used or a broken gem in there and it could work just fine, but having a living elemental is the best source. They can power the ship, they can help maneuver it. Um, and then from behind you, Edelweiss. Oh no. Behind you, Edelweiss. Dibs. Is there no more? No, well, that was easy. Who's, who's that? What? What do you want to? Well, okay. Not that I'm not gonna question it. Huh, I figured well, I Don't let the gift horse in the mouth. I'm not mm -hmm. sure I was gonna have to strong arm him into it. Well, it's more. How, how to say? It's more of a high for them, really. To be honest, I mean, they they get to feel the ship. They get to feel um, the uh, the skies, the way it maneuvers. But they're also it's kind of heart per se. That being said, uh, the engine goes down, the ship goes down. Ah. No elemental connection, you know, you don't stay afloat now. Naturally, I would recommend a air elemental, but uh, I suppose. Uh, who was that funny man? Anyways, well, uh, fireworks just as well, I assure you. Fantastic. I'm sure Sevantos will have a delightful time powering the ship. Yes, yes. Just be aware, just in case of emergencies, if the engine breaks or if your elemental cannot be found or wrangled, you know, you want a good loyal one. Um, in the event a elemental separates from the engine, uh, you, you will start crashing. Uh, Can we just put the crystal in it and, you know, well, will it come back to life? Well, yes, but in the event you lose that elemental, um, we have safety precautions for this. You see, the elemental engine can also feed off magical energy. This is why when you have a link to an elemental, it, it it's just perfect. As long as that elemental has the uh, has the capacity to keep going, he will keep going. Uh, naturally, you shouldn't stress him out too much, push him to his limits, don't feed him after midnight, but you know, as long as the elemental itself is given proper rest time, he'll keep that ship going just fine without it being too taxing. Hmm. All right. But just in case of the emergency that you don't have that elemental anymore, uh, if the ship starts crashing, I recommend having any source of magical energy on you, be it uh, artifacts or, you know, I suppose you could need money because of the metal it's being made from it just has a tiny bit of magical energy always but um, you would have to throw a lot of money in that engine and that's more of an emergency procedure oh my god you Scott I can't believe you're introducing a pay to win mechanic <laughs> shut <laughs> up oh my gosh magical artifacts or items thrown into that engine will be consumed but it the difference can be resulting in a safe crash or a total wreckage. Something to keep in mind. It'll be a uh, house. Technical question? If yes. we dump spell slots in there, would that count? No, no. Yeah. It has to be something burnable. Oh, okay, okay. And the more potent the artifact or item, the stronger your ship will keep going. So a bit of hope in a pinch, but that's only an emergency procedure. Really, really stupid question that yes. I have to ask. Yes. If I threw the ebony staff in there... I knew you were going to ask that at some point. <laughs> was it just going to blow up? That's that's on you. Whatever happens is on you. I don't want to do it. I just want to know. <laughs> then you never will. Damn it! I'm going to like make a note to ask after this campaign is done. Scott, what would have happened if we had thrown the ebony staff into the yeah. engine? No, I, I'd have an answer for you. Don't worry. <laughs> I actually do have an answer for this. It's just I don't expect any of you to actually do it, which is my first mistake. <laughs> exactly, but you said that. Now I want to do it. Uh, uh, uh. Anyways, um, well, if we crew of seven, well, I, I, I recommend having ten people around just to make sure we keep work is equal. I don't know if you have any other friends. Um, I do have a line of people waiting. See you about this. Uh, can you hold on just one second? My connection's dying. Oh, yeah, Ever. Hello, hello. I don't. I'm that not goes. sure if that's gonna help. Yep, it's better now. Okay. Wow, well, me too. <laughs> hello. Hello. Do I still sound like shit? You sound good. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, where was I? Um, uh, recommending ten people. You have people lined. Yeah. So I do have people in line. You, 
you don't have to go through all of them. Um, I had one that was very, very eager. Um, but Let's set a name. Um, let me see. Hang on, it's going for paper, it's going for paper. Uh, that's when you uh, hear... That's when you hear little... Up the stairs. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. At the vice you look. William, look. Ellie Vice looks. <laughs> just, just red, like forcing, like William's head to turn. <laughs> she accidentally snaps his neck, killing him instantly. Well, good thing I have that revivify. <laughs> uh, let me leave Use it right away. Suspense. I'm gonna call for a five minute break, actually, before I Kay. go on. Goopy. If you have any airship questions, please let me know, but I'll be back. Okay. Goopy. Pee pee. I'm willing to bet you money that if we put the Ebony staff in there, the ship will be powered forever as long as there's charges. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then the ship will just like turn into the staff or something like that. It's gonna be something like that. It becomes a terrifying Mark. haunted ship. Oh my gosh. Whoopsie. There you go. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. so cute with hmm? Siamese cats have longer snouts than compared to other cats oh. so they have like, really pointed noses mm -hmm. so when you look at a Siamese cat and when you see their profile it's like really noticeable because they have like a a flat straight nose and it's a lot longer so it's like you know a really distinct profile mm -hmm. interesting to be on our airship. I know. Oh, I know who it is. Mm -hmm. It's an ego. Oh, right. I, that took me a second. I was like, wait, who? Oh, poor Inigo. <laughs> Okay. I'm a fan of dry bones, and that just showed up on my dash. Oh my god. I love dry bones. Retweet if you are a true boner. I did retweet. Fellow oh, boners, rise up! Oh I god. love dry bones! Wow, this is gay. Wow, thanks. No, hold on. You don't have to call otherwise out like that. <laughs> I don't have to call you both out like that. But she did. Oh, please kiss. Please. <laughs> exactly, Lord, right? Lord, please. <laughs> Do it, you coward. Just grab him and force your tongue in there. Oh my gosh, that's what it looks like? Like, please. Like, holy shit, they're gonna make out in any minute, and that 
lady in the background is just like, do it. Fuck, yeah. do it. Forget like, that build? I'm here. <laughs> Look, build was a good year. Zero one can be even better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. And that was... Zero one has been a really good time. I need to catch back up. I, I got... Yeah, same. But it's been really good. I was I was really hopeful that I'd like it as much as build or more, and it's like, yeah, I'm it's it's hit. I the... don't I don't like it more than build, but it's I really like it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I like, know if I, I like, like it... it more yet, but I don't know if I like it better than O, but it's like it's up there and like good like just good new age common <laughs> yeah, writer. Good, good yeah, good shit. Yeah. Good shit, man. Anyway, who is eager to get on our airship? That's a good question. Well, I'm gonna cut off. And I... <laughs> <laughs> you think you're funny. Yeah. Oh. Is it Kung or Far Cry? Far Cry? Yeah, the the um, Kobolds. Kobolds. So, yeah, it's it's kind of a sleeper option. I assure you. A sleeper option? Is yeah. it that Warforged merchant that keeps cropping up? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm still not think, over them just coming out of the wall like that. I, like I, I think Tink Tink would just straight like infiltrate. Like you wouldn't even ask. Yeah, you'd mm. just be in the airship one day. You know, you know the friggin' like Koroks and like Breath of the Wild Hunter just yes. fucking hiding everywhere. Like Tink Tink's yeah. just that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought of when you did that. It's like, oh look, it's just. Fuck. Yeah, ha ha, please buy my stuff. <laughs> I just kept reminding me of the merchant from Resident Evil 4 just showing up in all sorts of random goddamn places, and you're like, why are you here? How did you get here? Why has nothing attacked you? And it's just like, you want goods? Okay, yeah, sure, I want goods. You want <laughs> goods? Yeah, okay, fine. I can't get over Exalted Moon and Osric and what do you have? A nine! A nine. I can't. I can't. You can't hit me! Can't so get good. over it. It's too good. Okay, alright. <laughs> Scott, this is the, the weirdest version of orgasm denial I've ever experienced. <laughs> Get fucking edged, my dude. All right, all right, all right. Back to session. There's a little, like, tip-tap, tip-tap coming up the stairs. Up on the rooftop, click, click, click. Down to the chimney with old Saint Nick. Saint Nick. <laughs> God damn it, Scott. That's when, she sh that's when she shows up. Oh, my a no. A head peeks from over the stairs. She's small about, like, maybe, like, she's a shorter race, for sure. Quickly just running up the stairs in a huff. <laughs> I love her. Turns she's left. Coming with, she's coming with us. Turns around, turns right. <sighs> <sighs> kind of just breathes to herself. Nervous anxiousness in her entire being. Mr. Mr. Edelweiss. Yes, that's me. I... Red, Red turns around. What the sweet little boy! Oh my gosh, she's adorable! Look at her little boy! Scott... She's a little drow just like you! Scott, do I recognize this face? Give me a history check. Give me a history check, I'm scared. Yeah, I also couldn't find an extended version of the song, so I'm sorry. Why? Oh, come on. Why are you uh, like this? Uh, you've, never, you've never met this woman in your life? Well, hold, you're trying really hard to even just placate like a race here. Uh, gently, she sets Red aside, yeah. like, please don't ruin my moment. Oh. She's, okay. she's shaking by violently <clears throat> wow I lost track of what I was gonna say wow you look oh my god I can't look directly at you <sighs> it's... I I don't know if you remember me but I remember you <sighs> refresh my memory dear it's been a hell of a month I... you you haven't been getting any of my pies 
Edelweiss, like, just eyes wide, and suddenly Edelweiss is astral projecting into five other realities, like, nope, I am not here right now. This isn't real. Suddenly, go, suddenly goes rigid and then falls backward. <laughs> I was gonna say, Edelweiss, <laughs> like, probably falls over. Yeah, meanwhile, like, Crook and, uh, meanwhile, and Crook and Wendell. It's goodbye. You know none of those are poisoned, right? <laughs> no. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You fucking told me what you were doing and I didn't catch it. You son of a bitch. I can't fucking scream, but if I could fucking scream, I'd fucking scream, you motherfucker. I... Okay, look, it's, it's probably fair that you don't remember me. You're um, the baker's daughter from Cobblepot. Bonneville. Edelweiss, like, literally is like, ah, like, frantically looking for a railing to lean on, like, ah. William, I need your shoulder. <laughs> you don't pay me. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> He's right. I pay him. Charades, I need a shoulder. <laughs> uh, Sunfrax got it. Yeah, Sunfrax got you, but hey. he's, he also smells like oil, so. Uh, sorry. She's coming with us, Edelweiss. She's adorable. The lights are you okay? Shut the You'll think you're about to pass out. I'm about to pass out, Charisse. I watched all your matches. I, I saw all your I saw your transformation on the stage. Very beautiful, right away. I can't look directly at you. She's like looking dead down at what the floor in your perspective. What are you doing right? up here? Your parents must be worried. Oh, your mother is going to murder me. Your father is going to murder me. They're going to think that I did this. That I seduced you and took you away to the the awful surface where. Oh, that, oh. that that doesn't matter right now. Um, if if you would be so humble, I would like to join your airship crew. Not for a chance to get to know you better or anything, but because I think I could be useful in that regard. I'm not good at fighting, I'm not good at manning a cannon, but I do know how to cook, and I could probably try to cook every day with what supplies I have. Edelweiss is like... Red just lightly taps Edelweiss on the shoulder and then leans in. The Underdark is in hell right now. Probably a good idea to take... Yes, Sharice, I'm aware of that. I'm just trying to process a million emotions. Bonabel, Stone Shadow, I, Edelweiss, the Half Drop, Hertz of Grey Banner, and Champion of the Ascension of Steel, hereby accept your request to join. Well, we haven't named the airship yet, but welcome aboard. <laughs> I'm glad one of you noticed that at least. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I love that he's just like walking up. He's like, "Oh fuck no, I am not getting any oh, of this." Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh good, we have a chef. That's perfect. <sighs> she pulls out a paper bag. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, feel free to get your things loaded onto the ship. Everything I have is on my back. Uh, same though. So, I'll be on my way. Okay. I'll make myself comfortable, I won't get in the way. Thank you for this opportunity, I really appreciate it. Feel free to take any room you want! Thanks, you too, Bonneville. <sighs> Edelva! Jace, I will turn you into a carpet, I will turn your entire people into a carpet, one giant carpet. <laughs> Edelva! The biggest Os carpet. What is Osric going to be? Red just has this nasty grin. <laughs> Ooh, Edelweiss gets the drama for once and it's not me! Atlas! He freezes in place. <laughs> Did you get supplies? Did Mika have a good time? <laughs> he doesn't turn around. Did Mika have a good time, Atlas? You see him reach into a <laughs> reach into his cloak. <laughs> take something out. Mika crawls over his shoulder and then jump. Whoosh, whoosh, Mika! Catch. Mika is sporting a nice little red bow tie. Aww! Uh, so did you have 
パニカーアドバイス Look at what's w h a t Look at the a t l a s got me got so cute! アドバイス is just staring out like into infinity like <laughs> <laughs> Just jumps on Edelweiss's face. Like, like, splat onto Edelweiss's chest. <laughs> He doesn't flinch at all. He's just like. <sighs> <laughs> Mika wants to show up to everybody. Oh, by the way, William, this is Mika. Well, hello there, little Mika. I could do you better. What do you mean? Look at this. It's so plain. He points at the bow tie. Oh my goodness, William. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and he's going to get her, you know, <laughs> a like、um, party attire and then Atlas's <laughs> a casual attire. <laughs> Probably need a little hat for you. Let me see here. William just kind of mutters to himself, thinking about what to do for Mika. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that one sorted itself out. You hear Atlas's voice from inside the ship. You have guests, by the way. You mean in the ship or outside the ship? That's when the door is open again. Oh god. Oh man. Here comes the horde. Uh oh. Atlas continues to stare. No thoughts, he, head empty. Yeah, no thoughts, head empty. <laughs> Red's tail begins to fluff up. Oh no! Oh, there it is. A lot of people、no. have shown up to offer themselves to your airship crew. Probably switch to manual around. How many bots do we have left? Let me see here. So. I think we should have six left. Well, no, but、oh, we, we need at least ten. Yeah,、um, we have seven already, and the maximum I think Scott said was 15. Yeah. Ten、so、crew members, five、now. passengers. Well, okay, well, a lot of the people we have can't really do anything with the ship. I feel like. Raven Black should already have a spot because he already was like to join us anyway. I don't think we get to tell him no. I think he's probably going along whether we like it or not. <laughs> yeah. Well, feel, feel free to question around. At the very least, I want TNT with us. I want to know what they can bring to the table before we agree. Like, I want to know what everyone can bring for like, actually piloting the airship. That's fair. Because as it stands right now, I don't think a lot of the people on the ship can actually like, pilot the ship. Atlas probably can, and William can. <clears throat> William, can you drive the ship? Can you like, do anything with the ship? I can try. Oh, oh that's great. It's, it's not just captain, and that's the job, miss. Well, you see, there's many different roles. You got. You... Well, exactly, I don't know what you can do. Yes, the captain's the most important, and. Please remember that, like any of you could fill these roles really if you try hard enough. Well, let me see here. So, Captain, aside from piloting the ship in the first place, you know, you gotta be able to issue orders. You know, be smart, be charismatic. You know, proficiency with vehicles helps, but, you know, otherwise, just intimidate and persuade people to do it for you. <laughs> I technically made a deal with TNT with the glass. We technically made a deal with、uh, Raven Black. Uh, well. I like what's his face a lot. And Inigo is a good boy, and I love him. And Kung is a good boy, and I love him. And I don't have any feelings towards Rat Guy. <laughs> I don't really, we didn't get to meet him a whole lot. I'm not against right, him. But... I'm not against him coming. It's just we never got to spend a lot of time with him. It's、uh, funny, right? Man. Edelweiss、no. just like still dead. Exo- oh, I'm sorry. You were going on with Wallace. No, you're good, you're good. If you, wanna, if you wanna speak up, go for it. Edelweiss is just like dead eyed looking at all of them, like, okay, I'm going to go to each and every one of you, and you're going to tell me what it is you can bring to this particular expedition. Alright, you, you want me to line them up to make it easier for you? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, okay.、TNT. You just go down the line. I was gonna say, TNT can stay in line. Okay, that's fine, too. Yeah. TNT, you're up first. 
<laughs> well, hold on, let me get the cup out. The ever famous cup. <laughs> well, Mr. Edelweiss and Miss Red, very good to see you both again. Well, me and Tomund were thinking to pack up our bags and live in town and go on adventures with you. You see, ever since hearing the very emotions, the notions of the glass, I've always been so curious about it ever since, you know, figuring it out. This, this new core of mine has just stirred up my energy and frankly, I just want to do as much as I can, do what I can, and well, uh, I'm not asking for, you know, a free ride or anything. Um, me and Tomlin can provide alchemical medical services, you know, we're good at handy labor too, you know, our bodies are resilient. We won't even need to eat. Mm. That's important. Two mouths on the ship true. that we wouldn't need to feed, who can also do hard labor without much do, stamina. Do they, need to, do they need to sleep? No eating, no sleeping. In fact, we could Ooh, work. Just a, just cool. a hour's rest every day is what we need. Oh, okay. uh, Tomold. Tomold, I believe he knows how to operate uh, heavy weaponry, so that would help. Uh, me, I'm more on the squeamer side of things. It's not my programming, I apologize. But uh, <gasps> manual labor I can help with. We can teach him how to drive the ship at night. Oh shit, you're right. So you oh. can sleep. Oh, exciting. <laughs> okay, that's a good point made. The only request, oh. bequest that we have is uh, we would like to be taking on as a pair. I, well, neither of us can bear to leave the other. Of course, we never considered splitting you up. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edelweiss. I, I do hope you'll consider. It's considered. Kung, you're up. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, does anyone have, like, comprehend speech? Oh, dear. Uh, some for kind of just waltzes up. Oh, let me see. Um, I've learned a little bit of growing in my time. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> well, this one seems to favor both of you, and he wants to kind of just, how to say, he realizes he's small and squishy and cannot contribute too much. Manual labor is, frankly, too much for him with his small stature and his frail body, but uh, what he can offer his services as services as a navigator and a scavenger should ship need supplies. He can run small odd jobs for you when the ship, you know, eventually docks once more. Um, let me see here. He also says he can try to he can try to learn whatever he can. Is he aware that the savannah is incredibly dry and hot? It's a risk he's willing to take. Hmm. Consider it at the very least. Ratman, <laughs> you're up. Well, howdy folks. I do kind of owe you for helping me out with the whole Terran Bound situation and all. Uh, you know, came here to offer my thanks and frankly because I'm out of employment. Uh, I realize I ain't got much to offer, you know, uh, on this side of things. I can keep my hands busy with uh, sailing work, keep my hands busy with the, uh, well, I know how to shoot a ballista. I don't know that much. Um, other than that, I'm going to try to help market for you guys hmm. you know in case you want to look into the trade good parts of things you know i'm good at you know handling the business side of things Ooh. you know direct people you know I, I i would personally say i'm i'm pretty good at persuading people to you know do the job right so i can help supervise um, you so. uh, yes it's well, a consideration you want to make a little extra money in your pocket well, i'd be right happy to be part of your crew no skin off my back otherwise. Otherwise, now that he has something to distract himself with, it's starting to, like, come back online. Well, so the little frog's been, like, trying to learn common, and I've been trying to help out with that. Alright. Charisse, it does sound like having a second cannoneer would be, or ballista operator would be useful. Just a basic hand, he might be worth having. Well, we can have him dish out orders, too. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. He's a good businessman, then he'll know how to do it, and what be a problem. And besides, if we have to do any trading, he'll be handy. I worry about Kung's well-being. I don't doubt him. I don't doubt his spirit. I just worry that his body might give out in the savannah's heat, but... Hey, Kung, how do you feel when the weather gets hot? Mm. I want to say, 
Mm. You won't die or super long, but uh, admittedly, his body does kind of go for a slowing down process, but nothing, nothing a good splash of water or a splash of wine bench would help him. Uh, uh Sandrak, how's the cooling inside the ship? Oh, the, the, the inside the hull, it'll actually be pretty decent in Savannah Lands. Well, then he'll be safe as long as he stays in the ship. It's but... just extended travel, that will be a more... And he'll be fine at night as well. Yes. It's very cold at night, so... Uh, actually, that's a thing to consider. Will you get too cold if it's too cold? Because it'll get, like, frozen cold. He said he might shed some more skin due to his slime, his natural occurring slime, uh, solidifying, but nothing he can't take care of. Hmm. All right, then. Okay. That seems definitely manageable, then. Yeah, all right, then. In a I go. like Kong. I want him to come. <laughs> Same. I like the boy. I have a soft spot for him. Mr. Edelweiss, very good to see you again. Mm, uh, good you. job in the tournament, by the way. Oh, thanks. You didn't do so bad yourself. <laughs> thanks. Um, so, reasons I want to come is, well, I mean, my hunting band's kind of been disbanded and all. Um, I kind of just learned a lot the past month, or, you know, last few weeks in general. I've, I've, I've wanted to broaden my horizons. Um, and, you know, I, I thought, like, I want to both learn and also, you know, fight, fight for your side, you know? If if my good deeds means that like someone else recognizes your hard work, I'd like that too, because you kind of inspired me. Yeah, we choice. like you. We like you too, Inigo. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate he's, it. He's so inspired. I'm sure he's. Uh, aside from being good at combat, you know, I can help defend the ship in close quarters combat. Um, I admittedly I'm kind of spread out everywhere kind of a jack of all trades really but you know i can help boost morale um oh, that's right you're a bard wherever wherever you want me whatever direction you want to take me i'll do my best to work at can you play music i can play music Woo! Yeah, i think it could be useful uh, I'm wherever we're just I gonna need. bring everybody i already know that i i know like this is just a formality because it's like look we're taking all of these people scott found <laughs> group of randos to be like here you go these are who you wanted look these are all the people that you liked and wanted this time with my, well yeah, bring my, them all my thought process was like who would they spend the most time with and who would like catch, who would catch wind of like them leaving town and be all like yo i want to be a part of that mm -hmm. i love how pretty much you picked like everyone that's like i wanted to like hang out with them more. <laughs> <laughs> like the only other person would have been me and he's you know on yeah. a farm in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, Kansas. Oh, He's right. walking across the bridge in autumn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but he's having a good time, kinda. Mr. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Lucian. Lucian Brev. Lucian. Name, huh? Thought I'd offer my hand as a cannoneer, though. If you bring the little devil next to me around, I reckon we'd make a good side group for you. You know, do some odd jobs here and there. You know, little venturing outings, bring a little, bring a little bit more bread and money back home. Could but be useful. I know my way around the ship. It's actually my first. It's actually not my first airship I've been on. All right then. I can pitch in as an emergency pilot if need be, but you know, choice is yours. All right. I don't think we need free sharpshooters on this team, no sirree. He uh, can be a knife guard unless you want to. <laughs> Besides, you can never have enough sharpshooters if there's one thing I've learned. Besides, you can all compete with each other. They'll be fine. Oh, jeez. A little bit of healthy competition on the ship. It'll be great. <laughs> Brave and black. Yeah, I'm mostly here just because, like, I kind of owe you guys a favor. So. I'm surprised you wanted to come with us anyway, to be honest. Well, I mean, even if I have to do the walk of shame back to my own crew, I mean, to come with you guys means that, well, no one gets to any fights with each other. Yes, I'm kind of bare minimum, I know, but having me around means, well, 
most likely or his crew will mess with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> can, can I, can Red just like look over and just like look at the other group and see if they're like watching? <laughs> <laughs> they're they're uh they're off doing their own maintenance for the most part. Damn. It seems, it seems most of them are trying to avoid this eye contact. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I like you guys. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they already started trying to replace me. But the thing about me and the other like colorful crew is that we do have to work as a team. If I split off, they're not up. They're not whole. I know that kind of sounds like bullshit, but it normally is like that. Hmm. So, I mean, I can try to protect you. The only thing is, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go. Well, that's not the worst pitch I've ever heard. Just an offer. Like I said, it doesn't matter to me either way. I like the idea of Ariel not trying Ariel's crew not trying to attack us for the fifth time. It would be nice, to be fair. Cause that was getting kinda of frustrating. They do have that tendency to just show up unannounced and attack us and try to interfere with us and it's a little tiresome. I mean I like them and everything, but oh, really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least oh. the last time we got into a nice conversation about justice and heroism. I can tell just, you this much. They're already sorry. planning for their next job, but who knows what's going to happen after that. I, I'm sure they're going to show up at some point. Ariel has, you know... I swear, it's like... Ariel and Edelweiss are related somehow, and she just decides, goes, I'm going to go see him, and then suddenly she appears out of nowhere, and then we get in a fight. Sure and then is. they argue. <laughs> Shuri's, it's a simple matter. We're drow frenemies. We are linked by a sacred drow bond of antipathy and liking each other. I wonder how I'm going to fuck with him next. Exactly. We're always wondering she, how we're going to screw each other She's more over. consumed with fucking you over than you are with her. Not all, you know, sacred drow frenemy ships are even. Oh. Sometimes okay. a drow frenemy might not even realize their frenemy even exists. That's the extra secret rare Sundere frenemy. Yeah, why is that like poetically beautiful? <laughs> that kinda is. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, I'm good at what I do. God, I'm amazing. <laughs> In this case, I'm the aloof and unconcerned frenemy to Ariel's consumed with jealous rage in front of me. There you go. So you're a kudere? Symb symbiosis. <laughs> uh, something well, like that, yes. So how many people will that be? So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's exactly enough. That's, exa that's exactly the right amount, but you would be at full capacity. Yeah. Which means supplies is going to dwindle faster. Well, we could take two people off for supplies. Yeah, we can, like, do supply runs with people, thankfully. Yeah. Like, we can send, like, a lot of the people to do supply runs, to be honest. Yeah, we have, like, basically a whole team that can do that. The only other issue is money. Mm hmm So we're gonna have to actually make money and make a point to make money. It's the, uh, the cost upkeep versus the reward. Yeah. But I like all these people. I want to make it work. <laughs> I mean, I uh, at least I have things that are worth money that I can sell off either before see, we leave or... See, there's also going to be the qualm of like, oh, we meet new people out on the new adventure. Oh, we have to give up someone. Mm -hmm. No, Wayward, you silly. All we have to do is get a bigger airship. I'm so mad! <laughs> Which leads to us going on a daring escapade where we steal aerials. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for okay, I want to take everybody, but I'm just gonna point out like the most practical choices in my opinion. I think would be uh, Ratman and uh, the Warforges. Yeah, they're the best He's... picks, but like everyone's good. Yeah. I think technically the quote worst picks would be um, Raven Black, 
maybe Kong, mm -hmm. and then um, Lucian and and Nico are kind of up in the air. Though Raven Black, just for the sake of having protection against Ariel, is nice. I want to take everybody. I'm probably gonna take everybody, but yeah. I'm just Agreed. gonna point out. <laughs> I can't much. help it. Look, I'm down with that. We just take all these people. It's a good crew, and we can get a lot of good out of this. Plus, we have a cook who, you know, makes Edelweiss hyperventilate because Wayward is a fucker and just... Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... so glad! Do you have any idea how long, like, how long ago I wrote up, up that character? Yeah, like, you told me about it, yeah. I just, love her! I was like, oh no, Wayward's gonna wait until we go to the Underdark before that bomb gets dropped yeah, on me. Nope. Fuck you know. Fuck oh, yeah, you know. You have to live with this girl now. Yeah. Edelweiss is like, her. oh no, there's two wolves inside of me. One of them is gay, the other is bisexual. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take everybody. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be big sad when we meet someone like really oh. cool. I want to take with me, but. I'll live with it. I, I will say, uh, I'll, I'll go over the more, like, finer details of crew, like, at some other time. You know, not mm -hmm. during game time. Yeah, yeah, But there, yeah. there, there will be roles you can assign to certain people. Okay. Yeah. That being said, you already have the cook filled in, so. Yes. The most essential of all. To be honest, I think what's gonna end up happening is that we're gonna have, like, Kong, like, do everything and like we're gonna, teach, we're gonna teach we're gonna teach Kong and Nigo how to cook and then we're gonna you know teach him common and then he's gonna get you know fancy lessons from Edelweiss and Holy shit. we're gonna make Kong just the absolute perfect little you know barren frog ever Kong is gonna become like a bard he's a true be... bard I'm so mad Jack of all why it's amazing <laughs> it's the best uh, I will also ask this. Who do you trust to pilot the ship? Uh, I want to say probably, uh, I know Lucian said he's been on airships, so he probably knows how to do it. Um, to Manuel? To Manuel doesn't know how. Oh, that's true. We um, need to teach him how. So I'm a very adaptive learner. Yeah, um, but we still have to teach him. It's a lot like Kung. It's like, it's an investment. I was like, I figure Edelweiss is at least going to try to figure this out, but like... Like, Tamanuel's so... already taking, like, all the paperwork from Sunfrank at this point. Okay, Good. okay. So, I would I would probably say, like, team effort to Manuel and Lucian until, like, one of them can decide which one's going to pilot. Mm -hmm. Well, I figured fun. one would pilot during the day and one would pilot at night. No, that's fair, too. Yeah. That's what I was. That was the idea. Like to manual pilot at night because again, he's origin doesn't have to worry about um, being able to see or sleep or eat or go to the bathroom or whatever. And then um, Lucia can do it during the. Mm -hmm. And then Edelweiss can Cause, take cause notes he also and does, learn cause... How, to, how to pilot while he's doing. Because Lucian also doesn't have night vision either, dark vision. Hey, he does he's an elf? Yeah, he does. He's an elf. I thought elves didn't have um, dark vision. Yeah, they oh, do. They do. Okay, never mind. It's just humans that are weird. Stop being weird, Danny. <laughs> well, you gave Osric not night vision, dark vision. Did that I? one time. Yeah. Which time? Um, on Edelweiss's date, you gave him human-sized vision. Oh well, I mean that's just that. You've seen that helmet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> and then he has no peripherals. That's fair. That's no fair. No peripherals. Yeah. And we've got, you know, everyone else is like pretty much like can fill in here and there. Oh, um, one thing we didn't consider, um, Exalted Moon doesn't like all the people. Um, he'll get over it. Uh, we didn't consider, um, Ariel the. Oh, we didn't really talk about pets, but I'm sure pets will be fine. Well, Ariel counts as. I, I was as considering. A See, I'm, I was considering that, but I'm like, nah, that's a bit mean. Yeah. Okay, never mind that. I'll say, I'll say pets are fine. Okay. Okay. It's just Ariel's so big. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Mika doesn't matter. It's just Ariel's. So big. Yeah. Oh, by the way, she is technically my mount now, right? Well, that, that's we did that. Yeah, okay. yeah. She's Good just gonna doing grow. that in the sand. She's gonna grow when appropriate. It's fine. Gotcha. Is she gonna grow into Velociraptor? 
She's just gonna, like, modify her bone structure on the spot. Yep. Also, I really don't want the image of, like, Ariel's, like, head on the fucking velociraptor body. <laughs> I'll okay. draw it. Don't worry about it. So good. Metal lights on this crazy reptile mount. At this point, uh, Osric gets involved. Well, quite the motley crew we have here. Seems out full capacity, if you intend on taking everyone. <laughs> seems like it thus far, everyone's a good Oh, pick. seems like it. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Oh, I'm... Yeah. Osric, don't be like that. Did oh, the that dolphin was... give you a hard time? Uh, 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 no. Is he lying? Truth be told, we had a small bonding moment. Really? You see Exalted Bastard off to the side trying to load as many goods into the ship as he can. Ooh, what did you do? Oh, nothing, nothing. Here's your change. He gives you back <laughs> 50 gold pieces. Oh, that's far less than I was expecting. Now I'm really scared. What happened? Oh, don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. <sighs> what? Work faster. Work faster. What? 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 Did I hear that? Did she hear that? <laughs> did she hear that? Yes or no? Uh, yes. What did you do? What did you two do? Nothing. It's just food. Are you? You're lying. What did you do? Why are you joining lying. my airship, everyone? I would, I would. I would never lie to you, my dear. No. Excuse you. You lied to me all the time. What did I you do? I only lied to you once. What? And you oh. can't even remember. <laughs> to me all the time. What did you do? <laughs> Investigation, <laughs> both of you. God damn it, Scott. Why didn't you make Bonnabelle so fucking cute? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what I was saying. Now you're going to be like super conflicted. <sighs> well, okay. As your brother, Exalted Bastard's already like pushing like red right away. Like, no, it's fine. It's fine. And, and like, and always, that's when you see like the gleam of an axe head being loaded in. Exalted moon. Was that oh. axe head I spied? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Now, would that mean that you have taken the money <laughs> your dear sister, your twin sister, gave you for supplies that were to? help ease the burden of your people. She gave me 200 gold pieces. That was supposed to be spent on supplies for the yes, tribe! Su yes, supplies for the tribe. What do we do if we have to defend ourselves? Well... We can't travel anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yes, and what if they come for us? What if they find our hiding spot? I'm being smart, sister. No, you're not! Yes, I am. No, you're not! How many weapons did you buy? Enough for the tribe. <sighs> Did you buy any food? Yes! Okay. Oh no, I made sure we bought food, for sure. It's just we had extra. And so you bought weapons to arm We bought tribe. weapons. Edelweiss, my dear. Ozark pulls you aside. <laughs> so what, we're arming... We're, we're, we're arming small militia groups now, so... so... No, half of it is mine. After all, I'm going to have to teach you weapon maintenance, weapon durability. I'm going to train you to fight with many, many different martial weapons that you're not accustomed to and frankly are uncomfortable with. All right, that's fair. You forget, I'm still training you to be a paladin. I'm going to be very strict with you. That's fair. Sorry, but one of our passengers is, uh... Adorable. You ever have that thing where someone from your past shows up and you suddenly forget where you are, what the meaning of time and space is? Osric looks over at Red instinctively. <laughs> it's like that. Ah, noted. It will be fine. Don't, do not worry. After all, we have plenty to go through. Plus, have you seen the weapon designs in this town? Whack. Ah, yes, they're quite interesting. Uh, quite a brutal people out here. Yes. Those weapons better be good quality, Exalted Moon. Of course. Only the finest money for my sister's money. 
that you're going to be giving these to the tribe members. If I find out they break the moment they hit something, I'm going to murder you. I would murder the shopkeeper and bought them from first. <laughs> Don't you buy them from Palatomas or one of the other weaponsmiths? Oh, no, 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 the big lizard man. Oh, please tell me you did not mention my name. Huh? <laughs> Nothing, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, Besides, check this one out. He, he he shows off specifically a great axe he bought for himself. Uh, 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 look, it has glass etchings in it. Uh, glass etchings, brother? Yes. Uh, at, least at least it's from Balatamas. Balatamas does make quality weapons. Yes, I have one too, as Red takes out her mithril staff. Alright, you bought that. No, 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 no. He points at the staff. No, 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 no. I get to be glass. Well, uh, uh, are you serious? No, I got here first. Oh, oh, oh but forget it. I came out of the womb first. I got this. Oh! You know, it's funny how much he reminds me of that other tabaxi we met. You know, the tall one. No, no, they do nothing alike. Oh, they're both very loud and prone to adoring weaponry and the like. Oh wait, no, possess. I'm. Oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> you are exactly alike, brother. He was a tabaxi. Oh, okay, cause ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You should have seen him. He was huge. <laughs> Okay. Better. <laughs> Honestly, you fought like a demon. A really angry demon who was owed taxes. <laughs> even bigger taxes. You owe me 7.6 APR, you fuck. <laughs> Rip it from my god, dead hands. <laughs> Did, uh, Mika react to Exalted Moon at all? Mika immediately just pokes back out from under William Wallace's hat, having hid the entire time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. A face of disgust. <gasps> <laughs> Mika's just like, pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> Well, uh, anyway. pick shit up. So mm -hmm. you're just taking all these people, huh? Yep. Uh, I God. know it's a bad idea. Uh, okay, it, okay. If you can make it so we don't feel bad about saying no, then. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just make it so we don't feel bad, Scott. Yeah. Scott, you know how we are. We feel really bad about things. Yeah. This is a so lot bad. of people. Maybe five seconds. This is a lot more I had to copy paste than I thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> you know what we're like, Scott. You know yeah. I should have known. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was just gonna tell Bonabelle no. <laughs> Be like, you, no. You know we were never gonna tell. Just no. Fuck you. Get off the ship. Oh, your pies. Taste I wouldn't terrible. have. I wouldn't have let anyone say no. I'm just gonna reveal some of the people who like disappeared into the GM layer just for the sake of copy paste. We're all one big family on the ship. So many people. Okay, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hey, there's sixteen here. You well, can't Septos count Septos. Doesn't... Yeah, Septos doesn't. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, fuck. Septos fuck. is an engine. I'm so mad. <laughs> he is the ship. <laughs> I feel so bad telling Inigo no. I really want to like think, like learn about Lucian, and it feels weird telling Raven Black no. Uh, to Manuel and gang just makes sense. Kung, I no, I'm not saying no. Dude, and Ratman is really useful. But like realistically, if you're being smart, we should say Inigo Lucian, and maybe Raven Black should go, but. I don't want to see no. 
Yeah, that's I don't know about these people. You just, you just give me a <laughs> Just, I, I, I'll be ready in just a moment. I just have I'm to figure out where everyone's gonna be on the ship. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I'm not I will, sorry. I will also say straight up, there's just no furniture on the ship. That's yeah, fair. That's okay. That's something that like the rest of the crew is gonna like build up over time. Mm -hmm. They're the gonna slowly make it home. home. Yeah. Can we expand on the airship and it just becomes home? Just oh. becomes home. We yeah. Just like, like yeah, don't worry, I got you. Make it bigger. Plan yeah. for advance. Okay, alright, alright. I got y'all. This is practically a traveling city at this point. Yeah. So many people. Y'all are having a good time. <laughs> I, am. I am. Oof, ouch, my bones. I am having the best time. Alright, alright, alright. Gonna let like one scene play out and then we'll transition to actual airship time. Okay. Any parting words to Sunfrack? Bye bye! Thank you for everything, Sunthrak. You all take care now. You've been good to this town. It's time this town was good to you back by letting you leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only sunset lands from here. Hey, bye bye. So, are you gonna say, you know, fuck you to Ariel? Edelweiss just. Takes a deep breath, turns and looks at his crew, smiles, and then just loudly, and I mean like he makes sure everyone can hear it. Oh boy, I can't wait until we're all the best of friends like one big happy family. Ah ha ha ha. As the airship is taking off. Especially <laughs> you and me, Raven Black, we're gonna be like brothers. <gasps> Come here, Kong, and he picks up Kong and hugs him. Gets paralyzed from his goo. Ariel just like looks up at you all, like ready to just disembark from Grey Banner. <laughs> Small smile creeps up along her face. <laughs> I hope you crash and burn. <laughs> oh, is that you, Ariel? I could barely see you from up here. You look like an ant. <laughs> Ah, just muttering on herself. Hey, shit, Drow. <laughs> There's a little wank off motion, goes back to her own, tend, tends to her own business. But you see kind of just like a genuine rivalry smile in that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my shit. That's my shit. <laughs> Aw, Bonnabelle's gonna see that and just be like, Oh, Edelweiss has changed. Yeah, just, oh no. Uh, I mean, like, realistically, he changed from, like, it was this, or, like, the guy that, like, ratted on his neighbors to the Drown, you know, Empire. Like, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, pick your, pick your eels here. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow, Mr. Edelweiss is so much, like, more boisterous. <laughs> The, the sleepy town of Grey Banner slowly turns smaller and smaller as you leave the airship docking at Sunfrex Garage. Oh shit, this is the last there time. There already you see map. like throughout the town, you know, a lot of people are noticing the airship leaving. Some civilians wave, you see some familiar faces down in the crowd. Um, a lot of Grey Banner merchants, you see Vincent himself just kind of at the marketplace waving goodbye to you all. Uh. As the as the airship kind of just passes by, you see uh, 
As the airship passes by the town, just slowly growing smaller and smaller, you both swear you see uh, Crook and Wendell just staring out one of the windows from the inn. Mm. Neither of them wave at you, but they both just kind of like gently nod, turn back to their own business. Soon enough, this town just disappears into clouds as you finally just get enough elevation to go into the skies towards the Southlands. From that point forward, it's just travel time. And then the airship shakes. Yeah, As goodbye. everyone tries to figure out how to drive it. Yeah. It's a bit <laughs> shaky, you know, people are still massive, figuring it out. Massive turbulence. Be because of, uh, be you have a good engine, but because of the lack of piloting at the moment, uh, the, the, you're kind of going at a safer pace here. Mm-hmm. Better to take I... it slow while we figure out how to drive the ship. Yeah, and also get accustomed to heights. Mm hmm. <laughs> Fred is just, the shaking of the ship is making her absolutely nauseous. So, uh, take, take a moment to absorb this oh, map and get cute. used to it. Aww, look at it. So, there's gonna be, uh, I know there's only three here, there's gonna be four total layers to the ship, you know. Okay. Oh, oh shit, okay. Top oh. section right here, the first intersection, the storage section, and below that, because it's on a separate map. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Damn, that's cool. And so there's so, nothing on the second layer right now? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Cool, 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 cool. And the second layer is kind of just meant to be like, uh, how to say, if I were to copy-paste everything that's on the first layer to match that layer, Mm -hmm. Like that's the kind of view that's supposed to be. Okay. Oh, so this is so the middle one is the very top layer, or is it under? Uh, it's underneath. Say, under, right? underneath. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's, it's... So it's just a separate gunning station. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 That makes sense. I'm okay, gonna remove those now so I don't get confused. Ah, <laughs> oh, so cool. Edelweiss so already, just... already off the bat. Um. Septos is tending to the engine, making sure it's like up and running properly. Uh, Timaniel's already like kind of just conversing with Lucian. Uh, eventually, just they're going to decide who's day and who's night. But for now, they're both just trying to like you know get a handle on how the ship feels. Atlas is doing his Atlas thing off in the corner. Raven Black more so, but less cool. <laughs> <laughs> but less cool. <laughs> William Wallace has already taken a perch on the. Uh, Outlook Tower. Just kind uh, of trying to keep an eye for things. Falcon's Nest. Don't ask me why I know that. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> and also kind of just putting money on Exalted Bastards and Inigo's uh, sparring. They're already doing at the center here. Tom is checking for weapon maintenance. Osric is off at the uh, front end of the ship. I forget what the term is. The bow? Uh, or thank stern. you. No, um... Oh no, that's port and star... Hold on. I know port and starboard. Yeah, that's I the... don't remember what the front is. Facing... Here we go. Pictures, give it to me. Nope. Oh, and uh... So Feel. it it's technically the bow, but the very front is called the forward, and then ah. um, off to the sides of the forward are the bow. So I there's see, port there's port bow and starboard bow, and then there's arbrim port, and then there's arbrim to starboard, and then there's off port quarter, and then off starboard quarter, and then the aft is in the very back. No one cares. <laughs> no, you're it's good. the bow. I need that information. It's the bow. You can literally just say the bow is the front, the stern is the back, um, and then port quarter, um, port beam, and then port bow is the port side, which is the left side, and then the right side is the starboard side. And it's the same for all of those. Blah, blah, post a picture. Thanks. Drop it I also off. forgot to get to this with Sunfrack, but uh, the airship is lovingly named, uh, Mead picked this name, the SS Stud Muffin. <laughs> But please feel free to, please feel free to change that name in the official papering. Oh, I'm gonna reveal a, please. I'm gonna reveal a handout to all of you. That's, uh, this airship's 
uh, handout is going to be under the crime voice section. Okay. okay. Oh my lord, I'm scared. Oh, thank goodness it's immune to psychic damage. I know, right? <laughs> thank God this ship can't be poisoned. Oof. The drow won't be able to claim this one. <laughs> Not today, fuckers. <laughs> so I feel I feel like we just like we're playing an RPG and we just got our airship and then we just found out that we created it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, 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 no! I'm gonna detour and spend thirty hours upgrading the airship. God. Hold the story. We're upgrading the airship. <laughs> So, not too far off the ground, like, mind you, like, not too high up in the sky, I should rather say. I'm not going at a full speed pace, but you guys are getting your bearings. Red isn't. <laughs> you haven't quite hit the point of Savannah Lands yet, but slowly getting there. The trees are slowly becoming less and less of a mass and more like grassland is just starting to turn color as the environment changes. Until then, the floor is yours in case either of you wanted to like hit up anything or like check up on anything. There's also the bedrooms on the fourth layer you could check out. Kind of see what your new bedding's gonna be like. The fourth layer that isn't here? Yeah. <laughs> you probably will be a, a device. A device. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Sharice, you, uh, you adapting all right? Take me to a bed, please. All right, Sharice. <laughs> Nettlewise just kind of slings her over his shoulder as best he can. Just, oh, right. this is probably a bad idea. Don't do that. I am one too tall, and you're putting too much pressure on my stomach. Okay, how about you put your arm over my shoulders and I walk you to your room? That Not even, sense. like, looking directly at you, Exalted Moon is just shouting out, Your form is shitty, pretty boy, and I don't mean the tiefling. Edelweiss doesn't even, like, respond. He's like, come on, girl, let's get you to a bed before you throw up on my new ship. <sighs> You're welcome. You'd be surprised how many times I had to do this for Mother back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> this just got too real. <laughs> oh my goodness. Edelweiss is oh. going to, yeah, take her on to uh, one of the rooms. Yeah, no worries, I got you. Let me just uh, copy paste some tokens here and there. So moseying on to the uh, fourth deck of the airship, you know, below everything, but also kind of just secluded from everything. Uh, you, bo you both do note that like a line of rooms just stretch out towards this bottom section. It seems the most effort was put into here, to be honest. Oh. Alright, so which one? You already choice? see off to the left and right that there's just personalized, personalized rooms for both of you. Oh. Well, that's it seems a... Uh, it seems further down the hallway, some of your, uh, some of your crewmates have already claimed some of the other rooms. Hmm. Oh, lovely. Put me in my room, please. Ah. It's so nice. I had, I'm assuming we did this. Oh, I hope my room is in the complete mess. Ah, it's made, so 50-50. 50-50. Which one's which? Uh, so, yeah, you're, you're both just right out, out in front of your respective rooms here. Oh, okay. Oh, so south so, is red and north is Edelweiss? Yeah, so okay. Edelweiss, first thing off the bat. Oh, jeez, it's impossible to enter this room. Oh, dear. Why is it like this, Mead? Why, 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 why? But hey, it's Ariel. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, girl. How are you? What? Mm, that's good. Enjoying your new accommodations. Uh huh. That's good. <laughs> yep. She's her vocabulary is expanding. It's terrifying, isn't it? Oh, why does the ship have to move? Ah, that's what happens when something's in the air. 
Maybe I should have taken brothers off her and just taken the caravan instead. It would have taken forever, Charisse. It's better this yeah, way. Yeah, but he wanted to be sick. You'll get over it eventually, and you'll be stronger for it. <laughs> just light up this room here. Oh, Make sure boy. to swallow it. Yeah, that's well it. Brad, your room is uh, well, much more cleaner and accessible, but. Oh. How pretty. Oh. That's like kind of creepy, but okay, it's pretty. <laughs> Huh. Otherwise, like climbs over one of the tables. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I did what I could here. No, I'm no, sorry. it's cool. It's cool. I, I love it. It's just funny to me. But otherwise, it's like, uh I'm gonna have to clean in here. <laughs> I have to clean all of this. Well, a lot of the crumpled paper and the notes on the desk is just like a lot of Mead's letters trying really hard to, for him to try to like. <laughs> he's trying really hard to stress that he's your dad, but he doesn't know how to tell you. Aww. <sighs> yeah, and that's why Edelweiss is never throwing that out. Yeah. You keep Aww. the cleanest looking one, because the rest of them just have, like, a bunch of, like, scribbled out mess or just crumpled up. <sighs> well, then. Ah. Uh... Otherwise, like, side-eyes Ariel. I'm going to have to go talk to her, aren't I? What? I mean, it's not weird, it's just, you know... It's been a long time. No, oh, it hasn't been that long. It just feels like it's been a long time. Uh -huh. And I kind of thought maybe she was dead. Especially mm. after everything I'd heard in the Underdark. Hmm. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right, Ariel? Chicken nugget. <laughs> Everyone's just learning about chicken nuggets. All them chicken nuggies. Everyone's learning about it. Edelweiss just, like, locks eyes with Ariel. Who taught you that? What? <sighs> I'm going to go have a talk with them. I'm just gonna label these rooms just so y'all know what's what. That's fair. Yay! My room's right next to Atlas. Great, now I'm gonna wake up one morning and there's gonna be a hole in the wall and it's just gonna be so an exalted moon can talk to me. Yeah, directly into your room. Uh, yeah. His head's just like, first through it. Now I know you have questions. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to hear it, brother. All right, there we go. Cute. You're free to be as nosy as you want, by the way. Edelweiss, like, crawls back out and just kind of looks down Please the Please be nosy for me. <laughs> he just kind of meanders around, notices that this room is marked as Atlas. It's like, dare I? Surprisingly unlocked. I dare. And Edelweiss opens the door. Alright, give me one second. Red can't be nosy right now. I want to be nosy. Real dexterity. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> inside this room, you peek open, peek inside, and. Uh, ah, god damn it. He put another door in front of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Edelweiss just staring blankly. This second door is just secure as absolute hell. You don't even you don't even see a keyhole. It's just two slots. Why? Or like you... you know where like two doors like meet up? Mm -hmm. As if you had to like slide them apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's that. So are you telling me the Atlas one shot is gonna be unlocked when we can go into his <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Edelweiss just, like, stares at the door for a minute, like, Why are you like this? 
and then just closes the first door and like yeah that's fair <clears throat> Osric, Inigo, William, Nimbus <sighs> you know what don't mind this and otherwise is gonna go try Williams oh William is surprisingly inviting and also very messy uh, that's that sounds right. <laughs> hmm. Just gonna poke his head in really quick. Huh. Less interesting <laughs> than I expected. Oh, less interesting with that trap door. Oh, I didn't <laughs> that see a trap door that leads to the <laughs> bottom of the ship. <laughs> Why? You no, know, I'm not going any deeper into this. <laughs> not even gonna do it. Ah. <sighs> Looking into Osric's room would be a violation of my pri of his privacy, and we're still- That's why I'm going to do it. <laughs> we're still kind of sort of dating. Sort of. Kind of. It's a little weird. Just peek, and then leave. <laughs> but I could always look into Inigo's room. <laughs> it's... You don't know how to put it. It's, uh... It's a mess. It's boring. Oh. oh, you're right, it is boring. Like, this man exudes neutrality. Huh. Jeez, when you said he was the jack of all trades, I didn't know you meant it in every Huh. Not even a dragon dildo. <laughs> a vanilla. Wow. Ooh, damn. Check under the bed, Doc. <laughs> Edelweiss, like, looks back at Ajax's room. I had one quick peek. <laughs> one quick peek. Hmm. Suddenly an alarm goes off and then like a uh, spiritual head of Osric yeah. comes up yeah. and just, ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, God, you... Holy shit, dude. Well, surprisingly, his room is locked, actually. Hmm. That's about right. Locked. Well, time <laughs> for Nimbus. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, fuck no. Wait, I think I have those. I have those. Oh. Oof. You start to reach out, but then there's the morality of entering her room in the first place. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't. <sighs> I shouldn't. Someone might catch you and then it'll be weird and awkward. Yeah. Eh, wonder what that asshole's room looks like. Probably just a pit full of sand and crabs. You almost want to kick him out on the spot. Just cat treat. Yep, there we go. Uh, yep, mm -hmm. It has a fucking fire. <laughs> oh, for the love of the gods. That's a fire pit. <laughs> He's lit a fire pit in your airship. In my airship. <laughs> <sighs> and he's destroyed the mattress. <laughs> Just look again. <laughs> Edelweiss just pokes his head into Red's room. I'm going to fucking kill your brother. <laughs> Why? Pokes his head back in. Go look at his room. I can't get up. He started a fire. What? There's a fire pit in the middle of his room. I, I, I what, what? Oh, I think it was a bad idea. Oh, what are you talking about? Get, get, get out of my way. Every step is like trying to regain your balance. That's why she has her hands on the walls. It's fine. She yeah, looks that's... embarrassingly stupid. Yeah. Just than You're not connected to the ground, and that's weird to you. <laughs> oh, they all, oh, my brother. What are you, like, five years old? You're pretty sure you? the, the mug of ale that's already, like, on his windowsill is about to fall off. Oh, brother. What are you, kidding? I don't understand. What are you doing? Why do you do these things? I don't understand. Send you! Why are you doing these things? Why is there a sword 
in the mattress. <laughs> a sword and two hand axes. Why, brother? You've been here for like 20 minutes. And you've destroyed the room. Why? <laughs> Why do you like this? Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't like this Edelweiss help. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Edelweiss again taking her arm. Come on. Oh, that ale's going to fall out of the window in a minute. I'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> fine in here. <laughs> I was just waiting so long for this reveal. <laughs> I'm sure you were. I was like, no, it's Exalted Moon's room. It's shit. <laughs> <sighs> Get some more rest. I'm going to go have a word with your brother. <laughs> and then Edelweiss is like, no, wait. Let it go, Edelweiss. It's not very paladinly of you to cost a crew member he's only a temporarily <sighs> go talk to Bonnabelle oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. go talk to Bonnabelle before it gets even more awkward <laughs> than it already is all right in that case uh, I'm gonna take a quick uh, quick bathroom break and then I'll get to that conversation okay we'll, we'll call it good soon okay okay I'm gonna get popcorn real quick I'm gonna go party. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks. You're welcome. <clears throat> oh, here you go, Smirk, since I know you're gonna base your friggin' Fabric Gale Knight's character off this. Oh my god. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. Here, fuck it. Have the whole photo set. 
Oh, thank you, Scott. You spoil me. Of course. God, she's so hot. So, I'm scrolling through Twitter, and I see a post saying, Ultron spent a minute on the internet and decided the entirety of humanity needed to be made extinct. Now I see why. And they link a post that just says, Barstool Sports. Scientists want to start jerking off dead bodies to collect their sperm. Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Someone in the comments is like, I read part of the article and it said, and I quote, a dead man's sperm has been proven proven to still be able to impregnate a woman. And they're just like, what do you mean proven? Why did you even need to prove this? <laughs> Who signed up for this? <laughs> and then another, but yes, why did we need this information? Someone else is just like, so dead people will get more action than me now. <laughs> this is so good. Fuck. <laughs> Do you want me to link it to you? I'm good. <laughs> okay. Just I'm it. good. I'm just still reeling. Yeah. Are you sure you're good? What happened? Okay, so <laughs> I'm scrolling on Twitter, and I see a tweet that says, Ultron spent a minute on the internet and decided that he, the entirety of humanity needs to be made extinct. Now I see why. And they link an article from someone called Barstool Sports that reads scientist. No, not Barstool Sports. Oh, fuck. I don't know what that is, but anyways. It's a right-leaning um, like sports news aggregate. Oh, okay. oh. Scientists want to start jerking off dead bodies to collect their sperm. Um, sperm dies pretty quickly. <laughs> Someone in the comments is like, I read part of the article and it said, and I quote, a dead man's sperm has been proven to still be able to impregnate a woman. And they're like, what do you mean proven? And why did this even need to be proven? <laughs> Me too, Ultron. Me too. <laughs> okay, but I found the best reaction to this. Hold on. Just... <laughs> all right all right so. i like i love scp <laughs> oh fuck yeah it's scp <laughs> containment breach yeah <laughs> all right we all good mm -hmm. all right otherwise wanted to talk to bonnebel yep all right i don't know how it's yours I don't know how I'm gonna do that now that I just had that revelation, but hey, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna. No, there she is. Sh short as ever. I love her. Organizing I... food. I ship you two so hard already. <sighs> Was her hair always that long? Brian, Brian, please stop telling me things like that. I do not need to ask these kind of questions. Okay. What does she smell like? Oh fuck you! <laughs> <sighs> you know Septos can hear these thoughts, and he's going to ridicule me about it later. <laughs> he's, he's way more consumed with piloting the airship. Septos he's is just laughing. like, oh, this is so fucking cool. <laughs> you know it. I oh. feel everything. Oh, oh. Uh, can you guys hear me chewing at all? Uh, no? I'm eating popcorn, so it's gonna be kind of loud. I hear oh, the occasional the crunch, is. but, like... Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, okay. you're good. Edelweiss just comes up and gives a light cough. Ha! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Bonneville, it's been... How long have I been away? Several years. Has it really been that long? Something like that. Oh, I've lost track of time. No, it hasn't. It just feels like years to her. I genuinely do not know how long I have been away sometimes. How, uh, uh how were you? You've been on the surface for two months, haven't you? I genuinely never, like, said how long he'd been on the surface. I just kind of winged it. <laughs> anyway. Quick, invent your backstory on the spot. Go. It's, it's been at least a few months. Uh, how were your parents last you saw them? Uh, 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 <laughs> we, um... We got separated when things happened. So. I heard about how Snavica's takeover. Wasn't sure what exactly it was like for anyone. Me and somebody ever from Cobblepot, we branched out. Uh, decided we would try to, you know, make it on our own because, you know, Cobblepot wasn't going to happen. Um, last I heard, some of the refugees were. Trying to make a smaller, uh, you know, kind of sanctuary situation uh, deeper into the Underdark, but I, I decided I was going to go towards the surface. I was very brave of you, Bonabel. I thought you died for a moment. Uh, to be fair, I kind of... <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah... I left in a hurry and genuinely wasn't even sure if I was going to make it to the service. I kind of felt the same way, so... Relatable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kung, I have no idea what you're saying. He says it's an awkward conversation. <laughs> Thank you, Kung. Your mastery of the obvious is... impeccable. Grabacha. <clears throat> I hate that I almost understood that. Ah, so... I never got any of your pies, and I'm really sorry about that. Crook ate all of them. Um... Crook is a lizard. Person. Oh, that... Oh, okay, that person. Um... That's... Kinda sad. I'm really sorry. I... If I had known you were in town, I'd have... I mean, we'd have had this conversation a lot sooner. Probably would have been a bit weirder. Or so I weird. only started noticing you when you entered the tournament, and I... I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> Chris, you never had time, you always seemed busy, you always hung out with big dudes, that scared me, kinda. Uh, to be fair, yeah, I mean, I hung around a goat person, a cat lady, a six-foot-tall surface elf and plate mail. Oh, just... I was also kind of afraid of, a, of like you just not remembering me and maybe just like kind of just walking past me as if I was nothing. Uh, Bonabel, uh, as I would never... Which I'm not saying you're that kind of person, but I, you know, uh, failsafe uh, maneuver in my brain. I, I, I get that wholeheartedly. I... Uh, uh, Ah, no worries. There was no way I was going to forget a face from home. Certainly not the friendlier faces. I can never forget you. God damn it, Scott. You cannot hit me like this, you fuck. <laughs> Do you enjoy... I will have you know that I'm screaming. <laughs> you can't... I mean, yeah, just look, I... Uh... <clears throat> I can't look directly at you. It's fine, I uh, yeah. She like leans You've over like so handsome with your Like she leans it. over like the produce crates, just like hands over her like forehead like you got hot. Terror. <gasps> I, was, I was gonna say it's like, oh come on, I was always hot, but <clears throat> I shouldn't be arrogant right now. Yeah, the just... shining radiance of his paladin armor. There's just I, I guess there's just a lot of stuff I'm trying to process in this very moment. I mean, I didn't think I'd get this far. I didn't think I'd, I'm, up, I'm up the I'm up in the air. Mm. You're Poor so you. bright now. Uh, tell, I've me, only seen you in the shade. Do you want to hear a story? Too maybe. Uh, 
<laughs> take your mind off things for a moment. Uh, sure. So, I, I like... first time I ever got into an aircraft. <laughs> oh, it was terrifying. So the first, like, you know, like from day one that I was up here, I was convinced the sun was going to kill everyone, right? <laughs> giant ball of fire hovering in the sky just out of reach. It seemed like a death trap. I thought everyone on the surface was nuts. Anyways, so end up with a hunting party with a couple of tieflings, right? One looks more like a goat, one looks more like a regular tiefling. That can happen? That can happen. Weird, right? But you get used to it after a certain point. Anyways, oh. after some shenaniganery up in a mine full of dwarves... Quick uh, question. Huh? What's a goat? It's a. Uh, it's on four legs, shaggy hair, has horns, weird eyes, rectangular pupil. Ah. Uh, Those things. Oh. Ghastly. Anyways, so. We just finished. Ah, uh, you've never seen. <laughs> Anyways, we just finished uh, a rousing little bit of a hunt uh, up in a. up in a mine dealing with a rogue fire elemental who I later stole, and he became bound to me. That was fun. Uh, but, more importantly, we'd gotten back from that, the goat tiefling, he decides that we're going to have a nice little vacation day, and we're going to go put a hot air balloon into the sky, and I am terrified. We're suddenly up in the air. I've, I've never been in the air before. And we're going to go fishing. We're going to hunt sky snakes or something. The snakes with wings. They fly. It was like, oh. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. Awful. 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 But they were mostly harmless. We caught a few. Things were, things were great. And I was even almost starting to feel comfortable. And then suddenly we started losing altitude. And it turned out that there was a manticore trying to kill us. Edelweiss. You realize you're scaring her. Shut up, brain. It's a, it's a dramatic yeah, her, story. Her face is trying to process the story because it's just one big roller coaster. <laughs> we crash landed. I met a surface elf girl. We fought the manticore. It turned the tiefling man, not the goat man, the other tiefling man into a statue. Little gnome got tall little gnome boy that I adopted got tall. Oh. Oh. Well. Yeah, sorry, that's probably a lot. It was intended to ease your mind, and uh, it turns out I'm incredibly awkward right now, so uh... <laughs> it's sorry, right. it's kind of reassuring. <laughs> Good. That was what I was hoping for. But you're not gonna let that happen to us, right? Oh, no. No, 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 no. First of all, that was a, a one-time occurrence with the Manticore. It was a whole weird thing. Turned out he wasn't even after me. He wanted to kill the tiefling. Which one? Uh, the, the one that got turned into a statue. The not good uh, one. Oh, so I'm, I'm kind of starting to piece it together. You're telling me this story because that's when you started wanting to, like, you know, be kind of like more of a hero heroic figure. And now here you are. Yeah, kind You conquered of. a lot of your fears. You're preventing people from, like, suffering the same fate. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Yay! wow, when you lay it out like that, yeah, that was... Oh, gods, I owe the death of Roderick to the moment I decided I wanted to be a hero. Well, a lot of us, well, at least I am, were inspired and encouraged by you, so... I'm glad to hear it. Uh, I I think you've done good so far. Thank you. And if you can if you can get on the top deck, so can I. Eventually, I'm kind of down here for a reason. Edelweiss like gives her a shaky thumbs up and smiles like I believe in you, Bonnebel. You can do this. <sighs> All right. Yeah. In time. Don't uh, don't force yourself. Now ask her to make you a pie. Oh, shut the fuck up, Brain. Why would you fucking do this? I, um... If it wouldn't be too selfish of me to ask... I never uh, got to try any of those pies. If 
you maybe were in the mood to make some, I would very much like to sample them. I... I'd like to do that. You just just give me a while to set up a cooking area and I'll, I'll get on it. Yes, of course, of course. Take your time. <laughs> ah, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Wow, this is... <laughs> Anyways, yes. Uh, <clears throat> take your time. You see this kind of look of like a kind of reassuring smile from her for the first time since you've like friggin' ran into her. Or there was like once kind of like tension and anxiety <laughs> it's slowly starting in the middle of out. You know, you're getting there. Yeah. Austin but you can also you, you can also tell she's still like processing a lot of stuff. Edelweiss, Ostrich is gonna be jealous! I know, Brain, thank you. I'm still processing the fact that I have to deal with the fact that a childhood crush is here and I am desperately enamored with her cuteness. Thank you, Brain. <laughs> nice! <laughs> thank you. You're so adorable! So much. Oh my gosh, I love her. That's when uh, both your both of your uh, sending stones kind of just perk up. It's William Wallace's voice. Hey, uh, I hate to interrupt whatever uh, business you both are tending to right now, but I'm kind of noticing an issue off in the uh, off in the distance, the uh, horizon, if you would. What's up, Wallace? Well. Starting to hit the Savannah Lands now, you know, been in there for a while. It's been a few hours at this point, right? Mm hmm. Well, already, you know, not even too far in. I'd say maybe like, you know, I don't know, an hour or two into the trip into Savannah Lands. I'm already seeing a signal flare go off. What? What kind of signal flare? Oh, you know, we're in danger, help, or rescue. Of course, I don't make the decisions here. Y'all want to go for it? Risk your lives? Go for it. I'm um, just giving you a heads up. Oh, Red what? would roll out of the bed and look out the window to see if she can see it. You see a... Yeah, you see a lingering, like, magical flare off in the distance over some of, like, the... Like, just off in the horizon over a hill. Is it an area that's familiar? Mmm... Kind of towards like the border of the savannah lands, but this is like one of those areas where like the savannah kind of just melts into the desert and vice versa. Oh fuck! Um, a lot of like weird landscape changes. What kind of does it have? Like a distinct like magic? Mm, it's mostly just red in color, just uh. to kind of signal an SOS. Uh. If you remember anything from your hunter's guild days, correctly. Um. So it's not like tabaxi in nature. Well, William Wallace follows up with, "Well, from what I can see from my little spot up here, and thankfully I'm invested into a spyglass. Looks like a crash sort of vehicle of sort. Looks big and large. Hmm. Big old that... sail. Looks like it's supposed to skim on stuff. Some kind of one of those uh, sand skimmers. Yep." Ask Exalted Moon to climb up there and see. You hear a muffled speech from the other end, just like, Hey, big boy! Yeah, you! Get up here! <laughs> <laughs> no, don't jump, damn it! Just climb! <laughs> I told you so, idiot! <laughs> hey, get, uh, uh, uh. You hear wrestling on the other hand. Hello, hello. Uh, brother, do you see a sand skimmer off in the distance? Oh uh, yeah, sand skimmer for sure. Looks dwarven craft. Dwarven craft? Oh fuck. Oi. I don't know, advice. It's your ship, your call. <sighs> have Wallace take us, or have whoever's piloting take us down. Get us in close. We'll see what we can find out. <laughs> don't get too close. We don't want them to just take over the ship. Hopefully for Aikin. This way, Exalted Moon shows off. Oh, boy. Exalted Moon, you're in trouble. You destroyed your room. Uh, 
You've lit a fire. You went into my room. Of course I went into your room. Why? Because you left the door open. Uh. Oops. <laughs> Siblings don't know personal space. What are you talking about? Uh, we discuss this later over a nice fire. You are not lighting a fire on underneath the airship. I'm getting mobilized. You'll be ready too. <laughs> Quick. <sighs> well then. Trouble on the home front? Uh, nothing serious. An SOS flare. We're going to land and see what's up with it. Should be fine. Well, go on. Get out there, hero. Will do. Stop. Oh, I'll be ready. Stop. <gasps> Stop. Edelweiss just flashes her a quick smile and then heads up to the top deck. Stop. It's too okay. fucking cute. Stop. We've already trouble arising on the horizons of the Savannah border. The SS Stud Muffin crew slowly sets off to their first encounter. I think I know what I'm gonna rename it to, but <laughs> what? Uh, what was it? What was it? Uh, the SS Escobar. Ooh, conceded. Okay. It's just, it was like Edelweiss wasn't really cool with taking the name Escobar, but he's like, if I slap it on the ship. Uh, Danny, agree, disagree. Oh, oh I don't care. Your ship. I don't care. <laughs> call it whatever you want. SS <laughs> Escobar it is then. I'm probably just going to call it Escobar instead of SS Escobar, because you or might as well just try to say that five times fast. The Escobar. S -S 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 -S. Like derpy dino dudes. Say Quick everyone, to the Escobar. Derpy dino dudes. Derpy dino dudes. Derpy dino, dino dudes. dudes. Alright. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me tonight. I know it wasn't a very active night, but I'm glad we all got to experience it. Stop it! Stop it! We Sad. like roleplay night. Wow, thanks. We shit, don't Scott. need, you know, fight. We like roleplay night. Scott, you, you dug but... into my backstory and harassed me with it. Yeah. That's my, shit. that's my yuck and fetish. <laughs> we love roleplay night. Love it. Love uh, but it. I appreciate it. It's good okay. shit. Yeah, but never, never be insecure about like it's all role play. It's like so we love uh, that shit. We I, eat I, that I, shit. I just, yeah, I just like to say it as just like the mm -hmm. safety preface. I get that, but we love we you, love Scott. It. Yeah, but I do, I do like when you guys have time to like you know like branch out and role play explore. Yeah. That being said, any questions, comments, concerns for tonight? Fuck, why is she so cute, Scott? <laughs> I was to... I was really hoping that she would be cute and that you would like her, and then there would just be that you know tension of Edelweiss trying to decide who he likes better. Just oh god, oh man. I that I wanted that so bad. You don't understand. My bisexuality is surging. Oh no. Oh no. It's happening. Oh I wanted that no. So bad. So bad. So bad. And now it opens the door for like Redden and Osric shipping too. Oh no, Danielle. What Let me see if I can done? find that full art. A admittedly, I kind, I, 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 I kind of cheated because I know you said Dorger, but I'm all like, let's just pick a short one. Smurf Nebula, not Dorger. Oh, uh, excuse me. Deep She's gnome. So I know what I meant. Deep she's gnome. so cute. She, she's adorable. Oh, she's like, super cute. Like, like they're all short. They all look the same. Way. Like, seriously, like, the moment I saw her, it was, like, instantly triggered, you know, Ray's, Red's gay side. <laughs> <laughs> She's baby. One entire baby. Give me your picture. Let me find it. Let me find it. Damn. Yeah, I was all like, yeah, short enough. That's fine. Yeah, I just, I up. just, I just want the tension. Oh, it's this picture! Oh no, it's cute. Yeah, deep no Mart is like super hard to find, so you just do whatever you can. Like, yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> it's good. It's this good. Is good. It's perfect. She's amazing. I love her. She's Thanks. the cutest. 